Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea 2. Last time we left off at this volcano, we defeated Marianne and Elliot. Dude, I one step in an encounter, that's insane. Anyway, we defeated those two, back. and now we're gonna go get the Pyrolith. And that's actually a new enemy, I've never fought that enemy, that little wolf thing. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go do that. So, yeah, last episode was a little bit weird because we literally defeated two people right here and then I know a lot Dude, is there encounters here are you serious anyway we could have just gone up there but oh perfect first strike that means we can run basically 100% I have a weird feeling that that wasn't the boss fight of this volcano um I have a feeling that there's probably gonna be another boss once we actually get to the stone itself so I just ended the episode and made sure to go and save um, okay, I'm guessing let's see what's down here. I'm guessing it's just like a stupid chest or something. Okay, maybe not. Actually, no, I was right. It's literally just one stupid chest. Actually, I wonder I wonder if we could go like both ways. This is just kind of like a circle. A piece of cake. Lips King. That's a rare enemy. Okay, I'm definitely gonna defeat this one. Um, yeah, Sharon will kill it for sure. That's, that's kind of a rare enemy. I'll take it. Now, I probably went a little overkill on the abilities here because probably could have killed it with like maybe six like down arrows. Not even a few, probably could have killed it. Whatever, we can kind of see how much damage we can do. How about that? 11,000? I'll take 11,000 damage. Pretty nice. And we get a lips tier. No, we don't. We don't get a lips tier. Sad. Okay. I probably lose. I probably. I was like, do I lose health when I step on that lava, or is that just cosmetic? Going back up. I'm not back up. Just go up in general. Another there is a fight and the cooking wore off it kind of sucks um, I mean I'm just gonna hope that there's another camping setup here but realistically there's not going to be there's already been two in this dungeon there's no reason there sh there's gonna be a third Man, this place is so long chest purified drought okay It's probably gonna be. There is another one! This game is insane! Why would the game give you three? That's nuts! I mean, this place isn't really that hard, is it? I guess we'll just do this one because the other one we don't have ingredients for anymore. So I guess we'll just do this one. And then we'll go ahead and rest. And then we'll go ahead and save. Guys, I've almost put 30 hours into this game now. It's a lot. I mean, probably about five of those have been like 8k hours, but, you know. It's over? Okay, guys. So we died. That sucks. Meaning, we gotta get better prepared. One way we should probably get better prepared, and I didn't realize this, but I mean, I, I did realize this, but I just didn't want to do it. We never learned variable arts or any mystic arts on people. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is learn those right now. So, let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll try the fight over again, and hopefully, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, let's go ahead and use Lang's hyper art. So, how this is supposed to go is up, right, down, left, up right down this is supposed to be his mystic move let's see let's see if this truly is hopefully he doesn't get crazy gas or killed i don't know why Link doesn't go first he should be a lot faster mystic art yes this is mystic art how sick is that jeez that's a lot of holy 
crap, that's a lot of damage. Just like Phil Swift, that's a lot of damage. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to... Okay, we can actually, we can do Sharon's, I think, now. We can actually do Sharon's. Let's go ahead and do Sharon's. Um, where's Sharon? Okay, let's go ahead and do hers. Up, down, left, right, up, down, up. This one should also be very, very strong. This one should also be very, very strong. Another over 60,000 damage. Jeez, that's very, that's very nice. Very nice. Okay, now I'm really mad. <laughs> okay, now I'm really mad. All right, cool. Very nice. So we got the Mystic Arts for two of them. Now let's get the Mystic Art for Maya. Yeah, do his thing. Kill the Lava Drake. She's going to use her Mystic Art. Let's see. Let's see. She is down, up, right, down, up, left, down. Okay. Let's do it on that one. And then let's... Let's go ahead and actually... No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and guard with her. I really hope Maya can get her Mystic off. Yes! She got her Mystic off. Really good. I don't know what this actually does. Hopefully it does something great. Okay, so just a lot of damage. Okay, that gives Maya... And it heals everybody. Okay. Nice. Alright guys, I think we can do um, a variable art. So, let's go ahead and... So, let's see, which variable art does he have now? So right now we have Airborne Fury. So that's, that's variable B. So let's go ahead and do left, right, left, down, up, down. That's variable A. So how variable arts work is you want to do each character has a variable A and a variable B. So that was variable A for Lang. So for her, we want to do variable B. So variable B for Sharon is left, down, up, right, down, right. And that should be variable B. Yes, yeah, so it's a variable art. <laughs> Fifty thousand damage. Take that. Pretty good. All right, guys. So I think we can do another set of variable arts. So let's guard with her, with Maya. Let's go ahead and rethink that. Maya needs to do B. So let's go ahead and do her B. So her B is left, right, down, up, left, right. So that is her B. And with her, we got to do her A. Let's go ahead and do down, down, left, right, up, up. There we go. That should be two new variables for both of us. Dude, she just kind of coming out, dude. Kami, kami out, whatever you say. Dude, she just did that. That's sick. Cool, dude. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and do our last uh, one. So I'm pretty sure. Actually, we're gonna have to guard with him. Let's go ahead and use. So we gotta use variable art A with Maya. So let's go ahead and use right, left, left, up, down, right. That's variable A. And with her, go ahead and use variable B, which I'm pretty sure we already have. So I'm just, but I'm, I don't feel like pulling it up. So left. Down, up, right, down, right. There we go. And that should be a new variable for Maya. Not a new one for Sharon. Though. Dude, why are, uh... Why are Maya's moves, like, Dragon Ball Z moves? Those are straight Dragon Ball Z moves. It's kind of sick, though. Alright, everybody. Let's go to this fight. Now... Obviously, last fight I lost, so I'm probably not going to include any of that footage. And there's a boss up ahead. Yep, just like I expected. There is the rock that we need. That's a, oh. 
There's the rock, but there is Dalflum and Slogar. Damn. If you're here, that can only mean my controller's unplugged. Elliot and Marianne, what happened to them? They fought for you right up to the bitter end. I see. Elliot. Marianne. They're dead. Sucks for you. Those stupid worthless. Why did I waste all that time trying to make them feel good? Oh well, they were just strays anyway. At least they slowed you down for- That's what I'm saying, dog. Like, that dude didn't even care about him. You bastard, how can you say that? How awful. They thought of you as their real father. That they died fighting for you. Fuck. They thought they were a family? Oh, that is rich. I found those two after their own parents had dumped them in the woods. Since when are strays part of the family? Now I'm really hoping we get to kill this guy. I can't stop laughing. What does that What does that make stray dogs and cats? I've heard enough. I used to think that there was no such thing as a truly evil person, but I guess I was wrong. Don't think of him as a person. Every person has a capacity to be dishonest than me. But I've never met anyone as rotten to the core. This is not a man's garbage. Even an apostle of the gods cannot break free of humanity. How sad. That's about to change. I'm going to be more than a man. The gods have chosen me above all others. I will prove it. See for yourself the power of the gods. Kill this thing, I guess, right? Parallel. Alright, looks like we got Slogar once again. My dude Slogar. This time he's got a sick mushroom on top of him. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, the strength of burning stone has given Slogar new life. There are no limits to the secret Cabell techniques. Witness the ultimate living creature transcends all others. And the one that controls its every move is yours truly, Doplin, King of the World, chosen leader of the gods. Actually, it's the person right behind you. Bishop, I'll be going now. What? You're not going to stand watch? You're missing a great show. See the power of the ultimate being, Slogar. Eh, do what you want. But I'm staying to watch. I've wanted to want. I've wanted this bunch dead for a long time. Show them, Slogar. Show them your awesome power. So I heard this boss was pretty hard. Not gonna lie, when I looked up, like just a general walkthrough, I heard this boss was pretty hard. So I'm not gonna sit here and be cocky about this one. We might lose. So we'll see. And the second time should be a lot faster and a lot easier, I would hope. So let's go ahead and let's try to build some AP on our on people. So let's go ahead and attack. Now let's go ahead and use Battle Flash, Wind Blade, and Hawk Stroke. With her, let's go ahead and use Ice Pyre twice. And with Sharon, let's just go ahead and use Blood Spark, Riot. Rumble and then anchor. There we go. We try to get. We could either use variable arts or mystic arts, but I might use mystic arts if he hits. Okay, so there's a move. Obviously, I've played through this already once. There's gonna be a move that basically gets everyone down below it half and doesn't kill them 100% of the time. So that's pretty easy mystic setup. Honestly. But we'll see what I do. We'll see. It depends who he hits. If he hits Maya, then it's over. Or like we can't we can't do the mystic. But if he hits either Lang or Sharon, we can do the mystic. But we also need a hundred eight AP, so we need to get them to hundred AP before they can do it. For an opening. In an opening. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and do that one more time. Do that one more time. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no. Uh, oh, crap. I removed. Ah, I hate when I do that. Okay, let's go ahead and just reset it. So, Blood Spark, Riot Flag, Rumble, and then anger. There we go. Nothing to think about it. I probably should have set these up before the fight, but I guess in the end it really doesn't matter. Last one just attack. Alright, whatever. I guess we can just go ahead and use uh, one of our variable attacks. Let's go ahead and we'll use A on him. And we'll use B on Sharon. Let's go ahead and use B on Sharon. And this should get rid of his first phase. Yeah, there we go. And th this should get rid of his first phase, like right away. Not as much as I thought it would. It was. That doesn't even get rid of his first phase, actually. It's kind of sad. Elbow blast. Oof. Hey, that opens up for a Mystic Art. I might wait on the Mystic Art before, though. Because he. Okay, spoiler. He breaks in. Once we kill him, he's not done. He'll break in in two. I'm kind of... maybe I should just uh, get my AP back up and leave my health as it is. Actually, you know what? I might just heal. I'm probably just going to heal, but I definitely need to get uh, these back up. Alright, let's attack. He should be close to death, because that was still a lot of It's probably not dead, it's probably a second phase. What is the matter? Slogar, finish them! Help me! Hurry! Stop him! 
Isn't that the follower of God that you've always wanted? That's not funny! Harry, help me now! Yeah, he totally deserves this. It is too late. You will fulfill your destiny together. You're in on this, Velma! You, you traitor! You've turned against Avalon and I am lost! False. <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? You were the one who was being used, and you have no use to us anymore. Uh, uh, that can't be! Do you even know how much I... No, no! Uh, Avalon! I am the High Priest! The Lord has chosen me and... Uh... You are just another human. You are simply unfit for this world. <laughs> Such for you. Velma, don't do this to me. Yeah, sorry, I really don't care. It's kind of. Uh, don't turn away. We still have to fight. God, I'm trying not to swear. He's really not a good guy, man. Yes. No matter what, I have to do all I can. We must do this. And we're gonna easily do this. I'll do whatever it takes to get back the Pyrolith. Alright, time to fight this one. Let's get it. Alright, let's do the second part of the fight now. So to be a to do the Mystic Arts, everyone needs to or the person needs to be at a hundred. So we're gonna have to um, attack everything at least once. Also for mystics, you need to be. Hmm. I, I think I should do the Mystic Arts. So I'm gonna need everyone to be below half. Uh, but that's pretty easy to do, honestly. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Yes, do Rumble Spike. There we go. Getting below half is pretty easy, especially with this boss fight. Because the special move basically just... The big one does 1,500 to everybody, basically getting them below half. And with them doing these moves right now, everyone will have 180. So we could basically execute three mystic arts. If everything goes according to plan, everyone can do a mystic art. And that's 100% going to kill one of them. And best case scenario, somehow kill both of them. Pay attention! So he needs to do Nova, whatever. Tank Fist, that's good, that's good. That's what we need, actually. Yes, everyone is below half. That is actually literally perfect. Okay, so we can do... The Mystic Guard, I'm pretty sure. Flaming Sword. Yeah, we can do that, I think. Let's go ahead and do that on him. With her, let's go ahead and do Forbidden Right. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that on him and with her. Go ahead and use Apocalypse. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully we don't get wiped somehow. If we do, oh well, I'll figure it out. But this should do quite a bit of damage. Take it! Fifty-five thousand. Yeah, a second Mystic should kill it. Th this Mystic R should kill it. If it doesn't kill it, I'd be very surprised. Okay, it's not a lot. 51,000, okay. He has to be dead after that one. Lava. Okay, that'll kill one person. Hopefully it's not mine. Of course it's mine. Oh! Oh, I forgot she- Oh, okay. She has a move where her MP saves her? 
only problem is she couldn't perform her mystic art then. Dude, the thing isn't dead? The thing isn't dead. How is it not dead? That's nuts! Okay, let's go and restore 2000 HP. And let's go and restore 2000 HP on. Let's, yeah. like, give all of them. Oh, that sucks a lot. I'm really surprised that they didn't kill it. It's very close to death, that's for sure. A hundred thousand damage almost? The thing is very close to death. But now we just gotta have enough oomph to push it over the edge. Okay, this... That shouldn't do that much damage, okay. Please don't do anything scary. Okay. That might kill. That, that kills him. Dang it. Oh, that doesn't kill him. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna go... We're just gonna go full out and try to kill it now. Hopefully we can kill it, maybe? And with Sharon, let's go ahead and restore 2000 HP on Lang again. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully neither of them dies here. I'm really hoping neither of them die. Okay, hopefully uh, that might... I really just need this thing to die. Like, we did so much damage to it. This thing needs to die. Quick. I'll tell you! It's mine! Now! Like, this thing's gotta be close to dead, man. Does it. I don't. Does that kill him? No, it doesn't. That's pretty stupidly close. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. And we're just gonna use another healing item. The, and the reason I'm using healing item... Crap, I healed the wrong person. That was my mistake. The reason I'm healing with her is because she always heals her because she's so fast. Oh, this, this could be a bad thing as long as this thing dies. Soon. And by soon I mean like this turn. This thing needs to die, basically. Take that! That's gonna suck. Okay, she's dead. The thing is still alive? Oh, self stage Okay. That's good, I guess. Oh, Sharon isn't dead. I forgot that sh Dude, how is everyone living nowadays? Jeez, I don't even know what I put on them for them to live. I'll take it. But jeez. We, we can use another variable art, right? Yes. We can use another one of these. We can use Flaming Sword again. Nice. Please, I'm really hoping that kills. Let's do a Silver Brome. HP to both, because both of them need HP yeah. now. Dude, oh, th okay, if this doesn't kill it, this game's broken. If this doesn't kill it, the game's broken. Okay, please don't kill him. Very nice. Th this is 100% going to kill him. 100%. This thing's going to kill him. If it kills it, this game is stupid. How much HP does this thing have? Yeah, the thing's dead. I'm just gonna cut. The thing's dead. Yes, the thing's dead. Whew. Okay. Oh, we. Oh, it's the end of the. No, she didn't receive HP. She didn't receive XP again. Dang it. She never receives HP or the XP. She's like Maya's always. Okay, we killed it. We killed it. Whatever. We're good. We killed it. Very nice. We made it. So it looks like we got the Pyrolith. Hey, very nice. Oh, and there's all our little uh, spirits. Origins. Other than uh, Aim, because he uses spirits, not Origins. That makes two. We've got the Aquilith and the Pyrolith. Where do we go now? We still need the Aerolith. I don't know where to start looking. I seem to remember seeing it on the tablet. It was on a pedestal in some ruins in the clouds. In the clouds, there's no way that could there could be ruins up there. I forgot. I didn't. Ah, I didn't read it. Not necessarily. Perhaps it is a reference to the Wind Tower. Wind Tower. Where is that? I believe it is on an island to the north of Jinga. I have heard the Chief of the West Winds talk of it. Aqua. I think we better go to Jinga again. Have another talk with the Elder. Then it's settled. We're going back to Jinga. Okay. So now we got to go back to Jinga and talk to the guy. We can save and we will continue.
next episode because I'm tired and that took way longer than it probably needed to. But we got our variable arts, we got our mystic arts, and we defeated one of the hardest bosses in the game. So, I am very happy with that. So guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like the comment as well as the channel, and we'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legate 2. Last time, uh, we defeated the third version of Slogar and got the Pyrolith. Now we're on uh, route back to Jenga, so we can get instructions to get the third stone. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going to go next. Before we go there, I'm going to stock up on items though, and then we'll go. Oh, I just walked in and there's a cutscene. Oh, hi Aqua, you're just in time. What are you doing, Sharon? The manager's sick, so I'm helping out. Wanna try my cooking? Hey there, this lady's the best. Great service. That's the truth. How about staying as a full-time bar lady? Haha, <laughs> I don't remember. Sharon acquired the nickname Bar Lady. Okay, so I'm guessing we could probably uh, uh, discover some recipes now. Welcome, hi, I could come and eat something. Okay. So wait, why do we have to pay... Do we pay her? But she's on our team. Okay, let's just get the sushi. Okay, I'm guessing if we buy it, we probably learn it. So you're not gonna do. I'm just gonna buy one of every single one, and then hopefully when we're on our travels, um, yeah, we'll be able to make it for ourselves. And also, just letting you guys know, we have. You guys might be wondering, oh, this is so expensive, you're paying like 500 G for like every single meal. Um, we have, I think, close to either 600,000 or 700,000 gold. I am nowhere near in debt with gold, I think this is the last one. Okay, so hopefully, um, Glutton King, so we bought everything. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, another cutscene with Maya. What a beautiful ring. I wish it were mine. If I had something like that, maybe he... Oh, Aqua. Buy it. 30,000? 30, 30, That's nothing. Let's buy it. You want it, Maya? Why don't I buy it for you? Really? No, don't waste your money on me. No, it's okay, really. Aqua. Dude, I just bought a diamond ring. What? Try it out, Maya. Okay. Bro, I just spent 30 Gs on a ring, bro. How does it look? Hey, it looks good on you. It's real cute, Maya. Thank you. Thanks, Aqua. Yeah, you know it. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm out here. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. Hey, don't you think this would look good on Sharon? Hey, hold on now. <laughs> hey. I'm not trying to buy stuff for Sharon now, huh? Alright, let's see. Okay guys, real quick, also, we never did this, but we have these items that increases our, like, stuff. So, Fruit of the Gods, um, raises all stats, we'll go ahead and raise, um, Sharon's stats. So, Mental Power, let's go ahead and raise Maya's stats. Raises Defense, definitely Maya. Defiance, this is Defense, Maya, and Maya, Fruit of Vigor, Attack Power, Lang, so maximum MP. Let's put that to Maya. Maximum MP. Let's do Maya again. Leaf of Stamina. Let's go put that on Maya. Yeah, okay. So we put all. Basically, we put most of it on Maya, but Maya needs basically like a lot more defense than everybody else, so I think that's fine. I think there's gonna be another cutscene here. Hey, come get a drink with me over there just for a few minutes. Or what a pain you are. If you don't leave me alone, I'll slash you. You've got the greatest voice. You slashed through my heart. Come on, hang out with me for a while. Aqua, I'm so glad to see you. Do something about this guy for me, will you? Make him stop. Just do it. Come on, you're bothering her. Leave her alone. You're making a fool of yourself. Who the hell are you? Don't try to weasel your way in between us. You're the one that's the weasel. Aqua and I have a really special relationship. No room for you. Nothing can can come between the two of us. Hmm. Damn. I'm not giving up. Yikes. That dude doesn't know how to get a clue. Thank you, Akka. That type that never leaves you alone unless you think... Uh, unless they think you have somebody else. So, what were you saying? Something about a really special relationship? Aqua, you want a really special relationship with me? Ha ha ha. I'm just kidding. Just a joke. <laughs> just a 
joke. Why are you looking at me like that? Just a joke, boys. Just a joke. Just a joke. Retreat, retreat. I think there's gonna be another cutscene here. Man, we're getting a lot of cutscenes all of a sudden. Wow. Oh boy. Look how far up I am. Don't kick around so much. It's dangerous. Let's go that way now. I want to see the castle. Ah, children. Such fun. Looks like Ain's having a great time. This is nice. Yeah. But it sure is. Alright, guys. I think we should stop messing around. Let's just get to the objective. So, let's just go ahead and go over to the Hills of Jenga. Yes, this is where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to talk to the guy and see how to get to that air temple place. Alright, let's talk to the dude. <clears throat> oh, you seek the altar developed airlift. That which you seek is there. It is just as Silent Eagle said. The wind tower can only mean one place. Ellsworth. Ellsworth? Yes, created by the Cabell as a testament to their power. It is a tower suspended in midair by magic. Suspended in midair, how are we supposed to get there then? The Cabell had a magical means of transporting themselves there, but the knowledge has been lost. There's only one method of reaching the tower now. You must use something that flies. There's no other way. Way to fly, huh? Guess we'll have to ask around. Okay, everybody. So, my best guess on where to go, um, I guess it would be Derek's Haunt. You know, the pirates. It seems like they might maybe have something to help us with. So, real quickly, we're going to save. Just in case, guys, just in case, we're going to go ahead and save. There we go. All right, let's go in, see, maybe we can find out something. So let's talk to anybody that we can in here. Let's see, who can we talk to? Um, oh, crap. One. what did he say? Hey there, doesn't look like you have anything, how about a game? Sure. Okay, now stand, oh, I didn't read how to play. Yes, yes. No, crap. Okay, well, I guess... Um, um, oh, Ooh, how do I get it in the perfect, right there, bam, oh, so close, so, oh, so close again, okay, maybe this time, bam, 100, look at that, dude, that is a sick, like, like, highlight system right there, Ooh. no, this one right here. Oh, I missed again. Hmm. Pitiful. You got, uh... Do I have to, How much do you have to get? Okay. First good throw. Let's try to get another one. Ah. Okay, another good one. Although, I don't think this gives us a chance to break our score. Good. Oh, if you, oh, I get it. If you get another good score, you get another knife. I get it. Okay, that should be another one right there. Right. Great. Got enough? Oh, we got a bigger score now. Yeah, it's another miss. Crap, I wonder if he'll say something different since we got above 500 now. Uh, he seems... Here, you can have... Brown's bro Okay, I'm not gonna keep playing. Alright, let's start with Kinjiro. I saw Glomako, why are you in some kind of trouble? Hmm, you're looking for some way to fly, huh? Well, I've traveled all over the world and there's no easy task. Well, now if you could get a hold of a flying dragon. A flying dragon? That's right, I saw one the last time I was over at that island. What it's called? Oh, Jenga. Flying dragons are noble creatures and bigger than any bird you've ever seen. They're like the king of the skies. Where can I get one of those? You gotta tell me. Well, rumor has it there's a competition over in the fortune. First prize is a flying dragon. Oh, sweet. Rich fortune. Playground for the rich and famous. I'd love to get there. Can you tell me how to get there? Sure, just sail north from Jenga until you see a huge castle. There's no mistaking it. 
Okay, cool. Also, because I found it. Nice. Is something better? It's also spreading better. If it's late, I'm not sure if it's going to let me know. Um, let's see. That's better. That's better if it's late. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to let me know. That's what I'm supposed to know. And that's just a session cruise. Okay, so hopefully I can just have a moment. Maybe that's something you saw at each. I'm just careful. They're really bad. Fight that. It's just a second to find you. Oh, you can't find you by yourself. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's find that. And that. And then, yeah. That's why, also. So, I'll go back on these. That's why these, then. Okay, that's basically all the money on all the stuff. Again, that's us. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Okay, so the place we gotta go is. So, this is where we need to go to get the aerolith. But we can't go there without our dragon, so we need to go to Paradise Island. Makes sense. Going to Paradise Island. So, yeah, let's go in. Oh boy. Can we just go in? We've been waiting for you. Welcome to Fortune, the last frontier. Okay, let's go in. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is Paradise Found. This is Fortune. Pardon me, gentlemen. Do you have any form of ID? This is the most exclusive of exclusive exclusive membership resorts. Yes, you are in Fortune. Aqua has shown emblem of nobility. Yes, of course. Please enjoy your time here. I don't know when we picked that up, but hey, we got it. Let's see, welcome to the Fortune. I, Henry, am proud to give you a tour of this establishment. Let's give you a tour. Of course, that shall explain the finer points of this establishment. Firstly, you will find it is divided into three floors. Off to the left, we have our auction floor. Fine and rare articles around the world are brought here and auctioned off day and night. In the center is the arena floor. Battles decided the strongest in the world are held as regular tournaments. And to the right is the casino floor. It is the great pride that I inform you that it is the largest entertainment zone in the world. To use any of these facilities, you'll need to purchase coins. Your understanding is appreciated. Would you like to get the tour again? No. Okay. So, let's go to the auction house first. Let's see what's going on here. Um, the auction is ready to begin. Would you like to join us? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Good luck. Wait up, Alpha. Um, okay. Sharon's coming with us. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we don't have a lot of money because we just spent it all, but... Um, we'll make it back up. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all. Here's our first item. Inscribed sword. 8,000. Um... I don't know if we have enough money. Um, I'm just gonna wait to see what happens. Um, let's go ahead and bid. Let's bid thirty thousand. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and bid twenty-five thousand. Okay. Sold. Oh, no one else. Congratulations. Cool. And next. Leaf of Mysticism. Um, watch and don't bid. No, I, I don't want this. Okay, yeah, I don't want that. Wretched. So that is a piece of furniture. I don't even have enough money for that one, so I'm not going to even bother with that. Yeah, I'm not going to even bother with that. Okay, is there any more items? Okay, so that was that auction. And I'm pretty sure we can come here... Uh, I wonder how many times we can come here and do that. Okay, let's go to the gambling house next. Let's see how we can gamble. Okay, so we got slot machines, we got uh, blackjack, we got roulette. Yeah, roulette, blackjack, okay. Let's see. Fortune teller, welcome. Um, no thanks. I don't even have any coins. I uh, have it maybe... Okay, let's... We gotta buy some coins, obviously. Welcome to the casino floor. Um, let's buy some coins. Let's go ahead and buy... Um, 150 coins. How about that? Okay. Um, so what kind of prizes they got? Okay, so they got... Oh, okay. And... Ooh, this is probably good. Okay, no. Let's just do a little bit of gambling, I guess. Where should we start? Are these just more fortune tellers? No. Um, no. 
Wait, I wonder if it actually works. Have her divine your gambling luck. Let's just do it. Certainly. Okay. I don't know if that actually works. It could be a game mechanic. Okay, let's play. Welcome. We offer an exciting game of roulette here. Care to join us? Yeah, let's let's play. Um. Um. Oh crap! It doesn't. Oh nine. Is that good? Is that good? Oh. That was pretty crap. I don't really want that. Um, let's go over here to these. Um. Oh. Um. Uh, how do I insert? Oh, R1. Okay. Oh, and then we gotta push. Oh, I get it. I get how this works. Um. Yo. Oh, can we get it? Oh, we got it! We're insane! That's okay. Um, we're insane. Foot, foot, foot. We're insane, dude. Um, okay. You know what? I think. What? Are, what is it? Uh, well, let's try a different game. What is it? Is this just roulette again? Um, oh, it's any game of roulette. I, I guess let's just join it. Um, let's just click that. Oh, that's pretty crap, isn't it? Attack model. I don't want attack model. Let's play again. And then let's click. Come on, get me on the start, man. Bronze Brome. Okay, let's play one more time. Um, stop. <laughs> Come on, man. I hate this game. Bronze Brome. No, I'll call it a night. Okay. Crap, I didn't mean to... Okay. Is there any other games? Is that all the games? Okay, well, if that's all the games, we bought coins, we might as well... Uh, use them. Use them. Crap, five. It's just not, it's probably gonna be another attack bottle. Okay, come on, I want one of the stars. Yes, we got it! What, did, or what does that give us? Please be something good. I'm gonna be mad if it ain't good. Congrats, you're, you're Golden Brome. And you. Okay, that's not that good. That's just like a single healing item. Eight? Okay. What is eight gonna give us? Radiant Sphere. Um, call it a night. How many coins do I have left? For now, let's go see what's up in here. Phew! That was scary. We would have thought the monster was gonna be right there. I wonder, do they have a save here anywhere? Let's see. Oh, they do. The amount of challengers has declined recently, possibly because the monsters are so lethal. Very sad. Okay, so this is the battle. Let's go ahead and save before we jump into any sort of battle. Let's go ahead and save. And let's talk to... Is there anything over here? Nope. Is there anything over here? Nope. Talk to this lady. This is a statue. Vixen the Great, okay? Welcome, this is a very this is a the very place where the strong and brave defend their honor. I blah 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 is we the same is being held. Let's compete in the tournament. Maybe the first prize will be a dragon. Certainly, which one of you will be participating? Uh let's have No 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 no! Um No, I didn't want to pick her. What are you thinking? This is your chance to further your name, and you want it to, to compete for you? True, in this situation it's much more cool to volunteer yourself, but oh well, what are you gonna do, Aqua? I'm sorry, Maya. I'll do it. I didn't. I didn't mean to click her. Understood. Please stand by in the way. I did not mean to click her, dude. I wanted to go. I wanted to click Aqua. That was an accident. But guys, anyway, I'm gonna leave it off here for today. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. But today, uh, we're gonna continue where we left off. I am not. A scaredy cat. That was that was an that was an accident. All right, Dark Jackal. We could probably beat the crap out of this thing. No problem. No. Nope. Okay. Apparently, I learned. I forgot how to fight. Let's go ahead and just do Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Talk Strong. This should kill it. I don't know how strong it is, but it should kill it. 
Hopefully I will. I'll show you. It's mine. I'll show you. It's a lot of damage. I think this is this probably might be like way overkill. Ten thousand. That's it's not dead. I am impressed. It's not dead. Should be dead after this one though. I wonder if we should do Mystic Guts in this arena. Old people like freak out if you just see like an origin pop out and just demolish everything around it. Also, I just disconnected my my uh controller. Alright, that's the first monster. Winner winner. I can't believe my eyes. Oh we get we get oh Do we get a more points? Championship tournament, danger zone, round two. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and do Skyfang Divine Bolt. Why not, huh? Aw, uh, why does he get to attack first? That's that's no fair. Ah! Oh. You wanna chill though? Sky? Yeah, this thing's gonna die. I'll show you! Who do you think you're up against? Winner, winner. So we get all of our all of our HP back, which is nice. Round three: Wasteland Outlaw versus Clunk King Aqua. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and we don't have enough AP, so we're just gonna go back to Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Hawk Stroke. Yep. This probably won't kill it, but... Yeah, 5,000 is definitely not enough. But it's not like it does much damage in the first place, and before the next, uh, next challenger, we should probably get our HP back up so we can do those hyper moves again. Not as much, but doesn't matter. We barely lost any health anyway. Who's next? Who next? Gormakila. Okay. This looks probably a bit stronger. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go ham. We're gonna go Skyfang, Divine Bolt, and then just that again. Hopefully, I don't know if this will kill it. Might. Blocker cancels all damage. Then how do we how do we kill it? I wonder if it's just for that turn. Blast well, sucks because we just went all out with our all of our attacks. Now we have to kind of. It doesn't do much damage though. It cancels, it cancels damage and how do we hit it? Maybe we gotta wait on yeah. this, maybe? Bang! Um... Can we use an attack item on it? Or like a magic item? Let's use Bolt Strike. Let's see, maybe magic. I mean, it says all damage, so I'm guessing it means all damage, yeah. but... Yeah, let's give it a try. That does. So, do we need to do specifically magic damage then? Let's try. Let's try one more time. Give the crowd something a little special. Delia! 
just in the middle of a coliseum, let's just rain down some fireballs, you feel? It won't know what hit them. It's not as much damage as I thought it would be. Okay, let's go ahead and use another item. Let's use that item now. Dark Flare. Yeah, it might have to heal soon. Okay, is the thing dead yet? I'll never give up! That was weird. It could only be a tech of magic. 10%. Ooh, that is not a lot of healing. It's not a lot of healing. Kind of sucks. Championship tournament, Hellhound. These things aren't that strong. I wonder if I can. Am I below half? No, I'm not below half. Um, I can definitely hyper art it though. Let's go ahead and do Skyfang, Divine Bolt. Let's do that on it. Oh, we need attacks first. Okay, 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 okay. Smash. Oh, this should. If this don't do a lot of damage, I don't know what will. And actually, I've never shown this attack on video before, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And this focuses on one enemy, so this should do a lot of damage. That did nothing. This better do a lot. That literally does no damage, dude. 6,000? That does. That, it's nothing. See how much attacks do to it. I don't think attacks will do more. You screw origin powers, man. My attacks do more than origin powers, which is a little bit annoying, actually. It's usually the opposite way around. Yeah! 
go oh, ahead and heal this time. The bottle restoration. Make sure we're not too low. So the next fight, we don't come in with like 200 HP. This guy really doesn't do that much damage. I'm just gonna keep chunking him down slowly. What's next? Recovery bonus only 10%? Oh, that's like nothing, dude. Champ Dark Executioner. I wonder how many rounds there are. I don't even know. Okay, let's go ahead and use... Um... Skyfang, Divine Bolt, and... Yeah. Defense is really, really low. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's not bad. Okay. It's actually surprising. One more till victory. Okay, so um, is that one more after this, or one more and then the final? So I think this might this might be the last one. Welcome. Oh, so this is the final. Okay. things rich people do. Finally, the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen, a new champion will be crowned tonight before you. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? I bring you the Tournament of Champions. It's time for the final round. Very nice. I wonder who's in the final. Oh yeah, me. Because I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the winner. In the blue corner, the newcomer who has crushed the competition. Surely you already know who I'm talking about to introduce. Glutton King Aqua. That's what the nicknames. I'm not going to spend all those words, but. Yes, that is my name. Aqua. But nicknamed the Glutton King. Got a nice little sword there. Champion. 
Shan's pumped about this. You go, Aqua. Nice, you almost fell in. And on the other side is a tournament's best or its absolute worst. The fierce savage of the underworld, Orva. Basically a recreation of the first boss in this game. Which combatant will leave the arena alive tonight? It's the tournament championships. Championships, yes, ready. Go! Alright, let's fight this thing. This thing's easy, no problem. I'll beat it up. Gorva. Very nice. Okay, I don't know how much HP this thing has, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of the Sky Fang, Divine Bolt. This won't kill it, but hey, it'll chunk its damage out quite a bit. Ooh, this thing has decent defenses. Okay, that's good. So, I'm going to try to perform the Mystic Art. Um, we just need to get to the to that high AP How much AP? Oh, 74. Okay. I could probably go into this one more time. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. Because I can do the Mystic Art now. So now I can do the Mystic Art. I'm about to. Now let's just do that. Sixty-six thousand. Definitely not living through that one. I can tell you that right now. All right, I won. I did it. Congratulations, finally we have a winner, a lone fighter is crowned king. I know him, you know him, Glutton King Aqua. Thank you, thank you, you are the most gracious audience, and now for the awards. Something's coming to it, is it good, is it bad, nobody knows. Ooh, it's a swordsman. Black Knight! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Oh, the battles are done. What is this guy doing? Who, who are you? What are you doing? Security, security, remove this man at once. That's not, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, you're just gonna get all the soldiers killed, brother. Don't do that one. That's not a good idea at all, dude. Ugh. That dude just ran away. I would like to see how just good you are. Prepare to be tested. Accept the challenge. Let's go. That's fine, dude. Let's, let's go, dude. How could dude. this happen? Do I really have to go through all of those fights again? One more time. Okay. Prepare, prepare, prepare. So I'm in a little bit of better shape than last time. Um, hmm, this is just Battle Flash, Wind Blade, and then Hawk Stroke. Yeah, let's do that. Is 
definitely gonna heal. of my ultimate fang, and yet you stand. I see how you survived up until now. This might be a stupid idea, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna Mystic Art, honestly. This might be a really dumb idea, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm so close to death, that's insane. I really hope he doesn't attack first. Don't attack first! Yes! I made it! I made it through that! That was insane! I shouldn't have lived. Actually, I still might not live. If he hyper us again, I still don't live. Okay. Alright, we made it. We actually managed to hyper art or mystic art without dying. That's nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and heal full back up to full. Okay, he didn't do much damage, so we can go back. If he's not close to dead after that one, I'd be surprised. Because we did a heck of a lot of damage. We did that, yeah, so I was like... That was really, really close, but this also basically... We're gonna get the fight done a lot quicker, because we just did 55,000 all in one shot. Again? How will you deal with this? Oh, the so hey. oh. well, that's one that we usually do. Now we're gonna go ahead and heal again. Actually, we could probably just hyper art him now. Go ahead and do Sky Fang Divine Bolt. You have more. Sky Fang. I'll show you. Yeah. I was like, is he still not dead? He's not dead. His helmet fell off! He's insane! Very nice. Lots of XP. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Got another art block? Very nice.
Hehe, <laughs> how interesting. It has been a while since I was since I've had a worthy opponent. And he knows Tangaryu's master stroke. What? You it's impossible. How are you still alive? You, old man, it's just, it's strange still that you are still alive. What? So senile you've forgotten the student you killed with your own hands? Oh, it's you, Ross. But how? How am I alive? It's true, you did defeat me that time many years ago. But the spirit of my armor has brought me back to life, and I will not rest until I have fulfilled my fate to live out my destiny as a great swordsman. Well, you failed, because I killed you, or defeated you. You said your name was Aqua. I trust you are ready for the real battle. Ross. Don't give me a real battle, bro. I, that was hard already. What are you doing? I believe you've been ordered to protect the sacred teal stone. Da, 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 da. That woman. Have you forgotten that you live now only because I gave you that unholy armor? Now, of course you remember. And they gone! Poof! They gone. Very nice. That is the last stone that we're gonna get. Very nice. Ross, you did not need to find them. He will come here. He must. Only here can he secure the last of the stones. Why? Why? <laughs> That's right, Ross. Feel the madness. Let it infect every fiber of your being. And when it does, you will be reborn as the greatest swordsman that ever lived. More than a man and almost as powerful as a god. Trying to recreate the noises. Yes! Turn your anger and hatred to madness. Then use it to kill that boy, the star sheep, for my liege, Lord Avalon. Alright, buddy. Looks like someone's been doing uh, too much of uh, the, the good stuff. Wonderful. That was amazing, Aqua. I have served as host for many, many years, but never have I seen such an excited audience. I have a proposal. How about working at Fortune regularly? You see, between you and me, the contract fee is quite decent. Hey, you. Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? What do you defer to, my fair lady? To do what, I refer. Pw I won, hello? Don't I get something? true? Oh, yes, yes, you speak of the prize. I will fetch it immediately. Get a prize, dog. This is... And we should get money for the break-in, too. Right, Aqua? Hey, where on earth is Stone? His student just won. He left the arena alone just a while ago. I wonder where he went. Where's my prize, dog? Alright, real quick, we're gonna save, because that battle was low-key kind of tough. Like, not gonna lie... Like, when a battle's easy, I'm gonna tell you guys it's easy. When it's hard, I'm gonna tell you guys it's hard. And that battle was, um, we lived by 56 HP. So, that was hard. But guys, anyway, I'm gonna leave it off here for today. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to like the comment as opposed to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. But today, uh, we're gonna continue where we left off. So... Last time we came to Fortune and uh, yeah, I did like a little battle to win something. We won it. And that's where we left off, so let's keep going. Now I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a cutscene when we walk out. And then we might come back in to kinda explore the place after like kinda like the main plot is done. But I'm pretty sure if we walk out here, there's gonna be a little something waiting for us. Aqua. Master. I know. The intruder at the arena. Ross. That's it, isn't it? <clears throat> I 
Oh yeah, that happened last episode too. I believe I told you this before, but Tenga Ryu comes from the heart. Therefore, its strength com comes from the person's heart also. Do you remember I told you this? The fighter's inner strength is fused with the sword. That is why daily training, experience, and trials are so important. That is the way of the swordsman. This is what I have tried to teach you all along. Ross was distracted onto the wrong path. He used the Ultimate Fang, a move forbidden by the Sky Fang Masters. Ultimate Fang is dangerous. It does not draw power from one's fighting spirit. It is fueled by insanity. It is used use it too often and it eats away at your very core. And that is why, as his master, I had no choice but to slay him. Yeah, we fought that guy last episode. If you guys want to watch it, it's over there. At first, you do not even know how to hold a sword. Look at how you've grown. I see room for improvement, but you are a respectable Tengu swordsman. As tribute to victory, I shall show you Tengu ultimate master stroke. Watch closely. Hey, we get another move. Let's get it. The final art. Oh boy. Waga Itu no. I can't say that. Oh, this dude just shot a laser out of his sword. That's sick. This is Tengu Ryu's ultimate master stroke. Sleeping dragon. Sleeping dot dot dragon question mark. Correct. Gather your entire soul and being and release it through the sword. Nobody can withstand such a blow. Sleeping dragon is not within your reach now, but I have complete faith that someday you too will master sleeping dragon. Alright, that's sick. Shoot my soul out of my sword. Nice. Ross left the sword behind. Though insanity has seized him, he will always be my student. <clears throat> if ever we meet again and must fight again, I may lose my life. That's ridiculous. We'll all fight together. Fight together. Impressive. You have quite a bark for a young pup. Aqua, do not forget the sleeping dragon that I showed you. You must become the sword. It is not an easy feat to accomplish. But you, you will someday. Aqua acquired the essence of Tengaria's ultimate master stroke. Sleeping dragon. Okay. Here we are. Here is the prize, the flying dragon. That's that's why we came here in the first place, right? We needed to get to Big Tower in the sky. We needed something flying. Kenjiro was like, yo, there's a flying dragon at the casino. Win it and blah, well, yeah, you know. Oh, that's crazy. Only for the best of the best. I hope it doesn't drop its riders. You you ride this? I don't know about that. It's fine. It may look scary, but I hear it's a gentle beast. With this, you can rule the skies. We hope you enjoy riding this fine beast. After all, they are very rare, you know. We didn't exactly do much. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. Alright, so now we are able to go to Wind Tower Ellsworth, and that's where we're supposed to go. Right. We're not gonna go there yet, because... Um, hold on. Oh. Uh, no, not yet. <clears throat> because we did the main story plot for inside of here, but I still kind of wanted to... Let's see what this guy says. Uh, I mean... I kind of still wanted to kind of see the place, so to the auction, we'll have to check out later. Uh, the casino is not really that great. I actually didn't really like the casino. Um, but what interests me is the battle center, because we use the battle center as, like, for the plot. But, <clears throat> I'm going to save real quick. I know that, like, even after, like, you're done with the plot, it's still a place you can do things. So, real quickly, before we leave, I do want to check it out. And I know there's a store here. I didn't see this last time, but there is a store here. And we won 500 coins from the plot, but now I think we can go back in and win our own coins just for fun. 
And there's some pretty nice things on here. So, it doesn't exactly show me... Um... It doesn't show me... I'd have to, like, take a look at the strengths of all my stuff. But there's some stuff here that I want, like the 16th Knight. Oh, that's the dude in the picture. Huh? Pardon me, boy. I am in no state to sign autographs. Vixen the Greatest Distressed. It is my duty to completely obliterate the coward who killed my brothers. You are... Yeah, that's me. I'll find out your name later and exact my revenge. Vixen the Great will avenge his brothers. Alright, buddy. Hopefully, if we meet him here. Who knows? Welcome. This is a very place where the... Okay. Um... Oh, so there's a lot of things. Okay. Champion tournament, gambling arena, battle, free fight. Let's get a... Some see... Uh, only the best of the best. These fighters will... What are we doing? If anybody is interested in competing, please let me know. No. Okay. I kind of wanted to... Okay. I shall explain... Okay. Let's do... Dream match. Uh, staff... Not even we, the staff, have been given the particulars. All we know is the best... Okay. Allow me... Okay, so that's... We might do that one. Free fight is in a one-on-one -on -one battle against monsters as well as friends. Even if they are normally your friends, during the fight, they may become a four. Even if you should forfeit, you will be able to still collect cash from previous wins. However, if you are defeated, please note that you will not be able to collect any money at all. Okay. Interesting. Yes, yes, Battle Maniacs. Unlike other, this battle is not judged on whether you win or lose. Success is based on clearing the challenges provided. Therefore, even if you win the fight, it will not be counted as success if the challenges are not met. Even if you should forfeit, you will... Okay. However... Okay, so if you're defeated, you lose. Gambling Arena IS is based on one-to-one -one battle. Besides tournament qualification rules, each competition has its own regulations. You will find the same... Um, the prize money is awarded to the champion. If you choose forfeit, you will not be able to collect the money at all. Okay, and champion tournament. Um, okay, there's more. Okay, we will offer you something else. Okay, so um, let's do dream match. Um, oh no no no, I don't explain. It. I want to do it. Okay, it, it is most agreeable. In order to compete in the, must win two other events. Okay, so to to go to that, we need to win two other ones. Okay. Then, let's do another championship tournament. Um, I'll have... Yeah, I'll have Aqua participate. Alright, so let's just do it. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna leave on camera. But, I'm actually probably... I'm just gonna go through it real quick. I'll take you anytime! I can always beat them! I'll take you anytime! I can always beat them! Hawk Stroke! Yeah! Everything rides on this sword! One more till victory! A rage of us brothers! Oh, so Vixen the Great is the last one now. So they replaced that stupid crap. Okay, well I have to take this a bit more seriously now. I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know how strong he is. I guess we'll see, right? But hey, I'm glad they changed out that stupid crab that really wasn't part of it. I mean, I know why they put it such a weak final, because obviously after that, there's the bigger fight that actually matters. So get it? But I'm... I mean, I don't know how... Okay, he hits kind of hard. He hits a little bit hard. Very nice. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna attack the same thing. I don't know, like, I'm very skeptical on whether to give him uh, a mythical attack or mystic part. I'm kind of. Uh, I got really lucky with that boss fight last time. He really almost died. So if this guy does a thousand damage each time. That's like right below where I need to be. Like, see right here? If he did that again, next round I'd probably be dead. So in this case, I just need to restore HP. So, like, I want to do it, but... I don't know if I'd be able to. Oh. Good thing that I healed right there. How much is it going to do? Okay, it was really good that I did that then. But, 
This also puts me below a th below half. I can do the Mystic Art. And his normal attack only does 1,000. So if he does some weird form of attack, I'm probably dead. You know what? I'm going for it. Your boy is a risky play. And he might just die from this. All together, he might just die. Easy. I did it! This game's easy, dude. Just got Mystic Art, you know what it is? You know what it is. 500 coins! Yoink! Those are mine. And there's no <laughs> actual boss afterwards. Very nice. What a fight! A flawless show of skills. The audience is now calling you the Hot Swordsman. Aqua, the Hot Swordsman. You will go down in fortune history. Now please claim your prizes. Leaf of Defiance, of Mentality. Okay. Hmm. The level of competition is so loud, this is laughable. Alright, bro. What do you want me, dog? Whoa, who are you? Who this? Who this? Show picks. Alright, dude. Steel. Steel, the silver wolf? Gotta be the dead wolf. Hmm. I see my reputation precedes me. Bro, get in the ring. I should like to compete as well, Aqua. I do look forward to defeating. Well, this dude. This guy drinks no water. Do not bow. Bow out before you reach me. Bro, I'm gonna win so hard, I'm gonna like win before I get to you. Hey! Hey! My picture's here. Let's talk to this dude. Gasp, I'm the Vixen of How's this possible? It's not possible. One more time. I demand a rematch. Alright, bro. Yes, good. Alright, uh, should we do another championship tournament? I wonder, like, does he show. I don't want to do another one now. I'm gonna do it again. Again, I'm probably not gonna show most of this on camera. Boss? Let's see who it is. Is it Spiel or is it Yellow Boy again? Oh, it's Yellow Boy again. Okay. It's Yellow Boy. Alright, well, let's just kill him. Well, I'm still kind of mad I did all that just for Yellow Boy. You've done it again. There's no soul in the screen or that can defeat you. Um. Okay, so we got some other stuff. Okay, so if we keep battling, we get more stuff. Um. But um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna try another one. All right, so let's go ahead and. Um, let's try a different one, uh, the gambling arena, uh, which, Aqua, you, you wish, okay, what do I do with this one? Hmm, is it just another, um, okay, so I can do everything, oh, okay. Okay, I think I get how this works, and I will probably be leaving most of this on camera. I, we've never done this. Before, so. Yeah. Oh, so the entire, the, all of the battles are basically just. So it's not just for each turn; it's for the battle. Okay, I see. I see, like, kind of what the point is of this. Oh, I was like, dude, this thing does some damage. Jeez. Ooh. Ah! What the heck is this thing? And why is it so fast? If we don't kill it here, it might actually kill me. Please be dead. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm faster than it. 100%. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm very glad it's a 100% back because I was kind of low. And I don't think 50% or whatever, 30% it would have done would have done me any good in Asher. Okay, but I get kind of how this works. Um, no items. Perfect! Oh, wait, 
If it does a lot of damage, I might not be perfect. Okay. Then we're gonna go and go ahead and just do um what are we gonna do on it? I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and Divine Bolt. And then Blue Moon Buster. Blue Moon Buster. Do we have anything else? No. And then it's Blue Moon Buster again, why not? I'll show you! Why not? Hey! I know these things have pretty high defense, so. Blue Moon Buster a couple times. Right? I'm kind of scared to see how much damage this thing does. Oh. That lowers my accuracy quite a bit, though. Okay, it doesn't do much damage, but my accuracy is pretty low. And I still hit all of them, dude. Look at me. I'm great at this game. Okay. This thing's probably not going to be too tough. Man, I'm really, I'm really scared that like in the final battle I'm just gonna get like something really bad, like can't attack. I guess I'll just keep going at it. Hey, okay, still not a lot of damage, which is completely okay with me. Finally done. Much All right. more training. I still actually don't find it. 100% bonus or recovery bonus. Very nice. Hopefully keeps it like that throughout the uh, rest of the tournament. That'd be great. Doppler. Kidding? These things aren't that strong. Okay. Defense up. Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Skyfang, Divine Bolt, and then down here, do a Blue Buster. Very nice. I'm gonna get this one over quick. Hopefully, we don't kill it right away because I want to get my AP back. That'd be nice. Oh, we killed him in one shot. We killed him in one shot. I guess the double defense is kind of a little bit useless, huh? I'm just hoping we don't get screwed here, because I'm going to have to gather AP. Sp spicy pudding. Okay. Oh, no MP cost for this battle. Sick. Well, then I'm just going to go ahead and blazing smash the crap out of it. So these jelly things, they're basically just immune to damage, and you can only hurt them with men. I'm pretty sure Orin... Or oranges. Orange. Origins do da magic damage. So. And my thing is fell out of my controller. Nope. 18,000. You should be very dead. Very nice. Let's see. Oh, I hope. I just said very nice. I better get my very nice I'll out take of this. You okay. anytime. Very nice. Say, if I said very nice and it wasn't dead, that'd be sad, boys. Alright, let's see. Round 5. Ooh, this one's a lot quicker, man. I'm destroying these kids. Dino Rex. Very skitty. Alright, let's see. Very nice. Okay. I will definitely take that one. That gives me a chance to get. Oh man, this thing's another one of those where. Mm, it's another one of those low to the ground ones, which are very annoying. Oh, and its defense is huge! Huge defense! Only 2,000? How much damage? Oh, that thing does a lot of damage. Kind of good that got the double HP. Alright, let's go ahead and try an origin. I'm hoping it has less magic defense, like resistance. Because right now I'm only doing 2,000 to it. That ain't good. Like, I need more than that. Mm, that's not funny. 
amazing either. It's more than my attack. It's more than my attack. Way more than my attack. So I'm probably just going to keep doing this because I need to damage it a little bit more quickly. I'll take Unless you it's anytime. dead. Alright? You know your boy's got it. Okay, 100% regen, so I get that MP back. They're very nice. I'm getting scared though. Like, that was hard. If, if let's just say I would have gotten a debuff on that one, I probably would have died. Yeah, just roar. Okay. It's been good. Yes, dude, I'm so good at this game. Alright, let's see how much damage we do to it. It's, it has low. It has low, time, which is nice. But it could have super high HP, so we never know. But definitely saving my AP for next round. I'm I'm thinking this either has if this one's trick is either high HP or high damage. Clearly high damage is in its strong suit, so I'm probably gonna save it for the next fight. That'd be great. But yeah, I, I kinda guessed right. This thing's like little trick is just high HP. And clearly not high enough. So now, please tell me to get a 100%. Okay, good. Because like, please give me a 100% bonus rate. Because I need to get back up. Actually, I would have even taken a 50. That's fine. All right, what round are we on? Six or seven? Six. Uh, round seven. Okay, so there's. Ooh, this one might hurt. Please. No, that sucks a lot. Um. I might have to miss the guard on this one. You know what? I'm just gonna blazing smash. I might. He's gonna hit me. He might already 100% get me down below half. And in that instance, even if I heal back, he's gonna keep hitting me. Heal, hit, heal, hit. So I literally have no choice but to two shot, basically. If he does more than half. If he does less than half. Then I could work through this fight a little bit slower by attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, heal. If not, let's see how much. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm go ahead and do that again. And I'll still have a hundred MP for a missed bar, so we're still good on that. But I can't, I can't origin anymore. I'm still waiting on his attack. He might he might straight up kill me, honestly. He might kill me. Because I have 50 defense down and he just powered himself up. He might kill me. There's like a very good chance he might kill me. Dude, what is this guy doing? Oh, oh, that sucks. He might not kill me. He might not kill me. Yeah, he didn't kill me. Oh, but I'm kind of scared. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to heal just in case. I'm just going to heal just in case. I'm still trying to bait out his normal, like, one, like, like two pounds on the head. I want to see how much that does. Okay, let's see how much it does. 400? Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't do nowhere near half. Okay, good. That means I can just, um, kind of just, I mean, he, he does a lot. But this means I don't have to be like scared of him like oh he's gonna one shot me. Which is good. So this is gonna help me keep that keep that 100. Like I'll get my AP back up to 100 for next fight to miss the guard just in case he does something nuts. Okay, this is gonna hurt again though. I'll definitely need to that didn't even hurt as much as last time. I'll 100% need to heal though, here. 100% I gotta, I gotta heal. So I still gotta heal out this guy, but not as much as I thought I would. Um, I'm 
Yes, he's dead. One more till victory. One, one more. Okay, we're going to the final, boys. Let's get excited. All right, get all my MP back, get all my HP back. Let's go. All right, we need, we need some good, good RNG right now, like right now. Who, who's, who, who this? Okay. We need some good RNG, boys. Please. Can't guard. That's perfect. I don't need to guard. I don't even need to guard. If that's his main attack, that's the blow. I can just straight up heal out of it. Uh, please heal. No! Please don't do it. He killed me. Dude, why did he attack first? I owe... Oh, oh. I always attack first. That is so sad. Can we get five likes? Oh no. Alright boys, final fight. Victory. Final fight once again. Woo, I'm getting scared that I'm gonna get a really crappy draw. Dude, I'm actually, dude, I can't lose this. I'm not doing this again, man. I'm not doing this again. I'm telling you, I lose, I'm not doing it again. I might do it again, I don't know. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. Are you serious? Like there's bad bad draw. Dude, I I don't I don't get this game sometimes. I don't I don't get this game. Okay, final fight. Again. Again. Final fight. Again. And I swear, if I get unlucky. I'm not gonna be very happy. I'm not gonna be happy because this is the third time in a row I'd be getting unlucky. Perfect! I love it! I think we actually have a chance to win here. HP would have also helped. Um, definitely gonna heal. Double HP would have also helped. Please don't. Uh, no! I might be. I think I'm dead. Dude, I think I'm dead. That stun killed me. I think I'm dead. Dude, no! I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. If I can somehow get this flaming art off... I think I'm dead. I'm dead. Dude! Okay guys, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna buy Night Striker because this is a lot more damage than her thing has at the moment. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna buy this. Yes. And let's see how much, I hope I didn't mistake. Yeah. Oh, but it's too big. But it, it's by 44 strength. That is a lot. She's gonna do a lot of damage. I'm gonna replace that. How much do we have? Um, crap, we only have eight left. Let's have an introduction to um, the new, basically, dungeon area we're gonna go to. Let's have an introduction. I'll end the episode off there, and then I'm just gonna grind there, because that's obviously like the latest place we unlocked, and therefore, the latest strong enemies are gonna be there. So at the moment, that's gonna be the best place to grind. Yeah, we can finally go in here. So this is obviously our next stop. Oh, there is a cutscene. Okay. Avalon, the boy was in the area, was the, in the arena of fortune. He apparently already has the sacred azure stone and the sacred burning stone. Just to be safe, I sent Ross to Ellsworth. There was no need. He, he can no longer threaten my plans, even if he is a star shaper. Velna, the time is almost here. All of this power will soon be mine. The power to create worlds. Alright, buddy, slow down.
We're coming. We're coming. Okay. Um, and... Okay, so this is the new area. Now, is there encounters right away? Is there not encounters right away? Or am I... Or is this just place really bad for encounters? Still no encounter? Are you serious? You know... Okay, there's our first encounter. Man, that took a lot longer than it should. Go. Let's see how strong these things are. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, do that. Um, let's do Thunderbolt. Let's let's see how much damage you do with the Origins and if they survive them. Let's go ahead and give it a nice little turn right here. And hopefully this is effective against them. Actually, not 100% sure. Okay, so they have less than 13,000. Not that bad. Let's see how much XP, though. Is that all you've got for me? Because that's my main point. I want to die. They're not dead? Delia! They're not dead? Which one wasn't dead? Did the Iron Golem live? I'm guessing that's what lived. Well, I guess we're just gonna do this real fast. He is high. So so yes, he is down. No, I'm just gonna drink water after I end the episode. Thirteen thousand, okay. And that's a, okay. It's a good amount of gold too. All right, guys. So here's what I'm going to do then. I'm watch me get encounters like right after another now. What I'm gonna do, guys, is end off the episode here. I'm gonna sit here and grind, and then next episode we're basically just gonna run through it, demolish the place, get the boss over with, and continue but for now what i'm gonna do is i'm probably just gonna sit here and grind so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like in the comment and support the channel and i'll see you guys later god bless and goodbye hey everybody welcome back to another episode of legaya 2 so at the end of the last episode i said we would go there and do that and i've slightly changed my mind we still might do that but let me give you guys a little update so if you guys watched last episode we did a bunch of fights in the arena and then I ended off with a quick introduction to the next dungeon that we gotta go to. Well, in between then and now, I grinded a lot. So I did get a few clips in between uh, this episode and the last, and I'm just gonna stick them in right here. Well guys, I'm just doing a bit of grinding, and I walked into Derek's haunt to try to get some items, and uh, something's happening, so whatever, I guess let's record. Wait, ow, wait a minute, I just made a wrong turn, it was an honest mistake. Why are they beating up a guy, dude? Leave him alone. A mistake, more lies. One more lie out of you and I'm gonna slap your neck. Oh, snap, not slap. Mistake or not, now they know about our little hideout here, there's only one thing to do. Gasp, I don't know anything, I don't know anything. You there, you, I need your help. Um, save him. Yeah, why not? Come on, guns. Let him go. Can't you see he's scared? Yeah. All right. You're lucky he stopped me. He just saved your life. But listen up. Listen up, good. You mentioned one word about our hideout to anyone, and I'll hunt you down. Got it? Yes, sir. Oh, well, these dudes literally like two HP. They're probably just blowing his toe and they're like, ah. I guess that's that. But while I'm sitting here talking, while not recording, I might as well show you guys a little bit of progress update. So I've been grinding at uh, Ellsworth, Ells, whatever, the big windy tower, and I did all of this. Now I know some of you guys are new and you can't tell what this is. Just know since last episode, we were about level 52. So I've got everyone above level 60, which is insane. We are like, insanely overleveled. And also, if you look at my coin, I've, I've got a million, 400,000, 46,490. 
so we're doing quite well for ourselves at the moment which is very very nice so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get back to grinding because I'm not done yet uh, partly because I don't even know why I'm doing this but I don't care it's 11 o'clock and I've got nothing to do for the next couple hours except to watch YouTube so I'm just gonna keep doing that I'm gonna watch YouTube on my second monitor I'm gonna play this game on this monitor and relax so this is probably going to be put in the next episode, so I'm guessing we're going to continue right now. Right when I was about to go and grind, there was more cutscenes. I didn't recognize you at first, but Nazak, is that you, isn't it? Dupan, yeah, it's been a long time. I didn't think I'd ever see either of you again. First officer Nazak, it's so good to see you again. He doesn't deserve the title anymore, Yan. He walked out on the captain and the rest of this crew. That's not fair, Dupan. It hasn't been for Ross. Don't bother you, do Who are these people? I left the ship. I'm no longer the man they used to call Thunder Nazak. Nazak. Now, after you left, do you have any idea? Any idea what the captain and I had there went through? So he was... So Stone was a pirate? I joined the crew because I wanted to be like you, but you abandoned us. I'm sorry, but I couldn't stay on the ship after taking the life of my apprentice. First, Officer Nazak. We can make a fresh start. I'd be... Uh, I walked out on the father, Alphys, and the rest of the crew. She would never forgive me. Besides, your hopes and dreams are too much for me to show up. Bro, oh, I'm just trying to buy items, bro. Why you gotta put me in this? I'm just trying to buy items. Leave me alone. Okay, guys, real quick. I'm back. I know. I'm back. Uh, okay. So I just talked to this guy, right? And, uh, um, yeah, after I got done shopping, so I might as well show you guys kind of what I got here. So I got some more magic potions, and I bought some more art. You know, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, he was like, yo. You should check out something in uh, Darakin or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, what is it? A secret market. So, yes, we got a secret market now. And I'm kind of tempted to look at it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. All right, we're going to take a look. Oh, so the secret market is literally a place. Okay. Oh, very nice. Let's go check it out. It's secret, so be quiet. Okay, there's fat dudes in camps. Very nice. All right, let's go talk to her first. I'm guessing this is secret accessory shop. Yes, with many, 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 very, very nice, many. Okay, very cool. Let's show. What are you all about, huh? Okay, we got swords. All of them are worse than my sword at the moment. What about these? Anything better? Nope, that's actually worse. Okay. Um, okay. Not very good. Anything better? This is better. Um, okay, I don't... Are any of these better? That's better. That's better. Okay, let's just see what we can buy. And this guy is the item. Uh, need... Uh, welcome the be... Okay, so we got expensive materials. Okay, so these are expensive. Might buy a few of those. Okay, what about cheap materials? Okay, so it's cheap materials. What about medicine? Medicine, yes. And, oh, here's all the medicines. Oh, very nice. Cool. Okay, guys, this is a secret market. Um, uh, cool. Back to the episode. Hey, guys, uh, real quick update. Um, remember that 1.4 million? Yeah, I have 35,000 now. But, but, it's not all bad. We take a look at our equipment. Everyone's doing a lot better. We got a new sword. It's very nice. Lots more attack. We got a new piece of armor. Got some new gauntlets. Got some new boots. And, uh, this thing, which is new. Uh, new armor. And, yeah. Then we got... New armor, new armor, new shoes. Yeah, so, yeah, everything's very nice. Everyone's doing good. Yeah. Um, I guess I should give you guys an overview. So, we left off maybe at level 60, around 60, or maybe 58, 59, 60. Well, I've done a lot of grinding, and I've got everybody almost to 70. Um, I think I made around 2 million in gold, spent it, and then the last time I grinded, I've, I've made it back up to 700,000 in gold. Um, 
I've decked out everybody with new or improved equipment. Okay, so last episode we did finish the Champions Arena or Tournament and we had several attempts at the Gambling Arena and we never finished it. But now we are a lot stronger so I'm really confident that we could probably beat it. And of course I'm going to skip all these small fights because nobody cares. Oh, okay. Guys, final round. Final round. Okay. Um, strength. Does this game want me to win? Ah, uh, this is gonna be juicy right here. Watch this, guys. Sky Fang. Sky Fang. Raging Fang. Oh, this is gonna do so much damage. Festival? How much is it gonna do? A thousand? No problem. It's not even an issue. It's gonna be the easiest thing for like 6,000. Yup. Okay. Those are numbers that I definitely like looking at. I like looking at those numbers. Those are very nice numbers. I quite enjoy looking at those. 55,000. Oh, I thought I almost killed in one turn. I'm like, man, I'm, am I that good? Um, Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Fox Stroke, Thunder Flash. There we go. And I can go ahead and do that once again. Not gonna really do much to me. I will probably heal next turn. But at the same time, I also just might heal next turn. Like, that double strength is really helping me out. I mean, I would still do an insane amount of damage even without the double strength. But, I'm definitely not complaining at all about that double strength. Um, it's a much needed improvement over last episode. Wow, oh, it's still not that. Okay. I'm just gonna go attack again, honestly. I mean, I probably should play a little bit more safe, but I think we got this in the back. Like, yeah. I might just even Mystic Art and then make sure. I want. I kind of. I'm kind of curious to see how much my Mystic Art would do against this thing. So, I guess we'll see. Because I don't think it'll kill me, unless. But I might just be dead here. Still not dead. Wow, oh, okay. Well, we can definitely miss the card. Hopefully it doesn't, uh... Hopefully it doesn't stun me. Don't stun me. Don't stun me. Not stun me. I, I think we're good, guys. I think that is the win right there. If this doesn't kill it, if this doesn't kill it, then I... Wow. I don't know what to do. 50,000. 235,000? This thing's dead. Yeah, this thing's, right. It's not even an issue. I did Jesus. It. Those are some huge numbers. Those are some numbers, right? I told you guys. Easy. After I grinded a little bit, these are no problem. After I just, I just gotta grind a little bit. It's no issue. See? Last episode, we had so much trouble with this. Now we literally just ran through it. I think I got it done in, what, like six minutes? How many obstacles were were overcome to arrive at this glory. You have finally honed your skill. Thou to be god of gamblers. You deserve to lead this army of admirers. So go down to history, whatever. One of my prizes, shining robe, dying. Ooh, those could be good. Thank <laughs> you. 
you know, they had uh, two portions, sorry, not that short, but no, it's the same question, it's uh, only first day of the English, okay, then someone answers the portion opposite, uh, first day of the UK, and then share what I do, that's what I'm saying, first day, the portion opposite, like that is pretty, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, I probably should have done that, 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 Oh, the first hit is me first, uh, I don't think. Oh, okay, so all those two, okay, we're flipping. Okay, so all that is flipping. Oh, that's true. Sure. This is a bad match, but I actually played a lot. Oh, okay, so I guess the word is count as one hit, all of the women. Do my only first hit, I'll do the damage. The first four is do no damage. Okay, so I guess just do, um, down, 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 and then, it's fine. So, one down, 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 down,
we're gonna go ahead and with her we're gonna um, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna try to keep stay safe so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, silver bromes every single round just in case so I'm just gonna keep silver bromie silver bromie and uh, yeah make sure none of us die and this is just origin power so we're just gonna have to keep striking them striking them striking them and then eventually I think we might have to maybe use some MP potions but I don't think so Lang has plenty of MP so I really don't think that'll even be necessary to be honest so this is a pretty easy fight How much damage this does? 13,000? Okay. That's around what we wanted, so that's pretty good. Now, its attacks is what kind of scares me. Okay, so we use the Silver Brome, and we didn't really need to. Um, please don't be a death game. Death game. Okay. Gotta keep track of it. it's this one I got it dude let's go I didn't even let's go dude we're so good at this game easy dude not even an issue now I'm kind of happy it did death game that's like what I didn't want gasp you have cleared the difficult challenge that is amazing you won the Prince of War I will never forget what you've seen here are your gifts angels blessing God and angels merit Ooh, let's go dude Easy. Well, that's my fourth time said easy, but easy. What is this? Um, really, really crap. Um, really, really crap. A book of recipes. Oh, hey, a bunch of recipes. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, looks like we got plenty more. Let's keep learning. I didn't realize I had these. Um, is there any more that I can read? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and try the next challenge. Um, free fight. So they're done, only Aqua. Is that all right? Com yep. Okay, so this is basically another tournament, I think, but bigger monsters. Oh, no, we have to, we have to fight each other? I don't know we have to fight each other. That's nuts. Okay, this should be an easy fight then. Sorry, Stone, my guy. So I'm gonna have to beat the crap out of him. Stone isn't that. We'll definitely probably take him on one turn. Sorry, guy. I learned something, Master. I learned something, Master. Very nice. Beat the crap out of our own party member. Nice. Let's see who next. Sharon. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Oh, crap. She's faster than me. Oh, she doesn't do that much damage. We're fine. She's gonna kill her a bit. That didn't even kill us. We're definitely probably gonna kill her. That didn't kill her. Oh, crap. I don't think we're gonna lose. We might lose. Why didn't she do any arts? She literally just killed herself. We got lucky, man. If she did any single art, I mean, any single art, she would have beat us. Not sure why she didn't do any of them, but hey, gives me the win, I guess. I'll take it. But this does show that I'll have to be a bit more Sorry. careful. Did I overdo it? So I will have to be a little bit more careful. 
And that doesn't even give me all the way back up to full, so... That's a little bit of a yikes. I might have to pull out some, uh, some of my big boy... Baki... Night. Are you serious? Are you serious about this guy? Um, okay. Yes. I, I don't even know why I changed my thing. I probably should have just left it. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and... Sky Fang. And then Battle Flash. Wind Blade. There we go. And this should kill him while preserving our... It just doesn't kill him, I'd be surprised, honestly. Thousand, yeah. never give up. And if that maintains our AP, then uh, we're basically good. And that gets me all my HP back also, which is very nice. So I don't have to worry about HP for next fight. Gust Raven. This thing's not that strong either, huh? Okay, and I still have under AP. That means that th that did maintain. Ah! This thing is not hitting that hard either. You have a lot of damage. I'll take you any time. Single turn. Feels good, man. Vader, uh, not that strong once again. You have I'll take you any time. Turn again. Feels good. Yeah, I think we're gonna get through this challenge pretty easily, as long as there's not like, um... Maya? Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, first of all, why is she faster than me? Why is she faster than me? Wow! Maya beat me. Fight now, okay, so we got Maya again. Now, I took, uh, as long as she doesn't kill me, I win. I took uh, the accessories off because with those accessories, she wins 100% of the time because I can't survive. Ow. I can't, I can't survive two hits like that. Maya is like surprisingly strong in this. Like, it's actually a little a little scary actually that she can do that like the strong people in our party is like me and then Sharon's a little bit strong and then Maya's basically in the back healing and like, doing a little bit of magic like, in this though she does more damage than everybody else and I think she should die from this okay yeah I, <laughs> I took I took off her accessories because I can't win with those accessories on, I can't win. So. I went ahead and took Like, it's literally, like, you might say, oh, you're cheesing it. It's literally impossible to win. I can't survive two turns when she goes first. Mythical Giant. Uh, this should be an easy fight, correct? I think so. I mean, I don't know how much damage she does, but it should be pretty easy. Probably has a good bit of HP. He has 44,000, so... Um... Okay. Two turns and we'll beat him. As long as he doesn't kill me, which... Yeah, that's not good. That is not gonna kill me at all. And this should kill him. Uh, 
<laughs> yep. Okay. So I won. I did it. We got a couple more to go. We got a couple more to go. I think there's eleven in total. That's just what that's telling me. Oh, amazing! I saw. The oh. Oh. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and do the dream match, and this is the last one. Um, let's go do Aqua. Okay, and this should be the last one, and in my opinion, should be the hardest, right? Dream match. Crap, man. I took. I put Maya's stuff back on. <laughs> Okay, it's all of them. All of them. Okay. I'm guessing this is probably using our version because it's the only thing that does like it's all of them. So I'm not sure if they're taking off one time or doing all of us. And that's actually what's doesn't make sense. It's really helpful. I'm going to change this. Oh, that's what I'm going to change. I don't know if 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 I'm going to change. So, I think it's probably you. Let's go. I think it's probably you. 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 guys so we've got some money and some coin to spend but real quick what are these guys doing stop it you'll lose for sure no me no me muscles won't fight oh stop it what, what are they doing aqua help ball sack refuses to listen to me no me go me fight and me win uh i'll fight instead no offense but ball sack won't cut it i'll compete in this place what aqua fight haha <laughs> funny so funny don't tell me you don't no, Aqua the True Conqueror? Yeah, Aqua the True Conqueror won the battle. I am. Or, really? Okay, okay, you win. You win for me, okay? Leave it to me. Are we- Oh, we're jumping in a fight. Oh. Uh, so if you want- That means the prize money is ours, right, Aqua? No. No, no, we- No, we're not giving you the money, dude. This is my money. This place is the hangout for really rich folks, right? I feel a bit out of place. 
Um, don't worry about it. That's ridiculous. No need to feel that way. Really? You think so? Thanks, Aqua. Yeah, you know it. I'm out here. What's here? This place just reeks money. I never want to leave. Oh, yeah. Back at the auction, they were having a good... It's called White. Some weird mystery meet in there. Well, uh, try it. Uh, okay. Cool. So, Sharon... She's trying to learn the roulette wheel. That's interesting. Okay, well, um, I'm basically... Oh, I was like, yeah, I'm basically done here. I played a lot. Um, might as well change our stuff for prizes. I'm just gonna go ahead and just buy one of everything, I think. Um, because this money basically has to go somewhere since it's stuck here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy one of everything so all of the furniture you know we're gonna buy a second one of those for no apparent reason what is this um wait all right guys we don't need money at the moment anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and you know what just do it right so we're not gonna need way of the th we're not gonna need way of the thunder because this is for um stone's book but this is for Sharon. Sharon, we do use. So we're going to go ahead and buy Sharon's. And then I would love to get the Royal Gourmet. But we don't have enough money for that. So let's go ahead and go over here. What did we just get? Book of Rose. Now, um, I wonder. Because... The other one that might be able to... Alright, everybody. So, last thing we want to do, we're going to go and decorate our room real quick. Since we bought a lot of furniture, we're going to go ahead and decorate it at Fortune. Why are you leaving? Didn't you just get back? Don't you like the village? Or me? No, it's just that there's something that only I can do. I have to go. Bro, I'm going to beat this dude up. Oh, Aqua. You, you're the one who tricked Maya. What kind of relationship do you and Maya have? Anyway, go on, tell me. Uh, should I do it? Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Well, duh, we're dating. What? What did you say? No, it's not like that. <laughs> yes. Aqua, what were you thinking? Aqua is my friend, my special partner in helping to restore the world. Special? Ah, uh, well, after you save the world, you're coming back to Yuno, right? This village is my home. I'll be back. That's a promise, Faldo. I see. So you're called Aqua. Please take care of my phone. Dang it, man. Yeah. I'm the type of dude. I'm the number I'm the number one man with a spear in this town. You wouldn't stand it. Whoa! That's a bold statement, my guy. That is a real bold statement. Faldo's always asking such silly things. Don't pay it. Bro, that is a mighty bold statement. Uh, let's see. Alright guys, I think we did enough of that. Let's go ahead and rearrange the room. So we got a few more pieces of furniture. Got the wool bedspread. Diamond Temple, got that, let's place that, place that, I like that obsidian table, I like that plant, okay, Venus, yeah, I like that, big bear, very nice, okay, cool, that is, feel free to use this room as you like, uh, just don't put too many things, I don't care, I'm putting as much as I can, this looks beautiful, alright, we can go ahead and go to bed, why, uh, I guess we can, uh, like, reset all of our, stats and stuff okay guys here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and save and next episode i promise we are going to go to the big tower in the sky and we're gonna actually beat beat that so yeah guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and comment as well the channel and i will see you guys later god bless and goodbye Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legaya 2. Today we're finally going to be going through the Wind Tower. So it's been two episodes where we've been kind of just playing around, doing side quests. So today we're finally going to go through here. 
which is pretty exciting. A uh, quick update on my levels and gear and stuff. So, didn't do... Is it, wait, is that my... Yeah, okay, good. I was like, is that my PRP? Um, I didn't do too much grinding between this episode and last episode, so before episodes I like to do quite a bit of grinding, but the fact that we're already level 70 uh, with almost all the characters for this dungeon, it's more than enough. So I wasn't really too worried about it. Now here's my only issue is I didn't save. I guess I saved. I saved it, you know. So that's right before we came here, so that's fine. Okay, let's keep going. Now I don't know how high this goes, but I guess we'll see. Oh. Alright, what is this? I'm guessing this teleports us higher. Okay. Very cool, I guess. Let's take left first. Don't know what difference this makes. But let's see what's over here. Okay, a chest. Martyr's Garter. Uh, no idea what that does. Um, let's go to whatever this thing is. Why not? Okay, so there's a Sharon Thunder switch over there. Can I hit that, like, from here? I can't hit that from here. How sick is that? Alright. Oh, so that... Oh, so that... Yes. So that creates a draft where we can move this thing. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. So now we can come over here. I'm guessing this will stop. Okay. We can go up those stairs. Alright. It doesn't look like... Looks like it'll not let us go back. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna keep going. Honestly, I don't super care. I was just gonna grab the items if I could. I maybe I have no IQ, but like it wouldn't didn't seem like it would let me, so let's go up. But I'll try to get the rest of the items next time. But yeah, uh ooh, a chest. God fist gauntlet. Okay, is that? Let's quickly. What I'll, if? What I'll probably end up doing is maybe coming here off camera and grabbing everything. What is this? Oh, that's probably to go to the beginning after there's like a fight or something. I'll probably come here off camera and make sure to grab everything, just in case it's something we can actually use. Okay, so I'm guessing this has to be hit. Hit that way? No. Hit that way? No. Uh, does it have to be hit like that? Yes, there we go. I knew it had to be hit somehow. Let's go wherever this takes us. Okay. And then we hop on this thing. Oh, we gotta... Oh, but can we just hit that? Yeah, we can hit that. No. Hmm. We hit it there. Yes, there we go. 200 IQ. Okay, so that opens up to let air in. So we can... Yeah, move this. Not sure where this is taking us. Okay, so let's jump off. This is red. So we can't go in the red ones just yet. Let's punch this. What does this do? Oh, that changes the directions of the light beams. Okay, so the puzzles to figure out how we shoot the light. good at this game and just <laughs> got it first try by accident. Perfect. Hey, I'm not complaining. Saves me editing time, so I will take it. Now hopefully we get that lucky with the next puzzle. Oh, it's taking us all the way down. Okay, let's go on the blue one this time. That should take us to the temple, I think. 
think this is where we need to be going. Now I'm expecting a save point before we hit the boss. At least I would hope so if the game is nice enough. But it looks like we still got some floors to climb, so we're not there just yet. Keep climbing. And once again, like I said earlier, I will come back to this place and check it out thoroughly, make sure I haven't missed any chests or anything. Let's go ahead and pop another of uh, the Heaven's Gate. I'm already super leveled for this place, so I don't really want to mess with the encounters, and it'll help with editing and stuff too. Where does this take us? Okay, oh, we got a camping site. Alright, perfect. So quickly, let's go ahead and rest. Let's go ahead and cook. What? Okay, so we got a lot of new recipes since last time. Now it really depends, what do we want to... Ooh, that, that looks good. Pork cutlet bowl? Let's go ahead and make that. Uh, I don't really care about this. Okay, that's good stuff. Let's give it a few chats. So how did you like my cooking? It was good. Oh, it was really good. Really? I'm glad. Don't tell him that. What if it came out all right by chance this time? Yeah, that's right. Think before you speak. Why are you talking so quietly? Let's see what else they got to say. Hey, Aqua, do you like older women or younger women? Um... Yeah, let's just say that. Well, let's see. I guess if I liked a woman, age wouldn't matter. Well, well, if that's your answer, it must mean you like somebody right now. Well, no, I, uh, I'm just answering the question, that's all. Well, come on, don't play dumb with me. You can't fool Sharon. All right, now spit it out. Well, what about you? I'm sure you must have had plenty of relationships. Oh, of course. Let's see, I've had about... Hey, wait a minute. I'm not telling you how many. Besides, keep it any secret makes more mysteries, don't you think? Hmm, <laughs> you say so. I wasn't talking to you. Right, let's see what other interesting chats we can get. Oh, Alphys, what a twist of fate. I left you, and now I'm traveling with your daughter. Of all people in the world, if she knew, if, she, if Sharon ever found out I was Thunder God Nazak, what would she do? I wonder if she'd hate me, thinking I left you. Listen, Alphys, someday I might just have to tell her. Dude, she's like right next to you, brother. How does she not hear you? Yeah, but I heard a strange rumor, huh? That was pretty random. Well, what is that, Maya? Guess what? I heard Marianne and Elia showed up in the arena. You're kidding. But we killed them in Draconia. They should be dead. But they also say that if you go to the waiting room, the two of them are nowhere to be seen. Pretty spooky, huh? Do you think it's true? Maybe it's just someone that looks like them. They were scary enough when they were alive. Don't tell me they're ghosts now, Maya. Just... Why do you like such gorgeous? You're scaring. Uh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering about it. That's all. Oh, if we come across one, I think we should run. I guess I won't tell them what I saw. What do you mean? What tell them what you saw? Don't go. The moon is beautiful. Why don't I sing? Uh, okay, they're just singing songs. Um, my father's no sad stories tonight. Come on, Sharon. Or stump for me. Drink what? Drink sure, Sharon. You've got a lovely singing voice. He thinks there was a time when I thought I could be a singer, or did I want to be a dancer, or maybe I wanted to be a waitress. Oh, a long time ago, I forget. All right, one more, and we're gonna move. Anyway, Ain, is that birthmark? Uh, it's a tri tribal emblem proving that I'm a warrior. It's not a birthmark. He, he, now I get it. You're too embarrassed to talk about your origin. Haha, <laughs> your origin must be a squid or something. A squid? Origin? What's that? A weird wriggling creature with ten tentacles. There's no such thing. Don't you worry. We're all friends. You don't have to hide your true self. I said there's no such thing. A squid origin. I want to see one too. Alright, one more chat. I'm curious. So the airlift is here. Say they're uh, they're floating the sides, kind of romantic. Okay. The, usually the really, really short chats mean, hey, get on with the game. Uh, it's kind of... You chatted too much. Let's go ahead and save. Let's keep moving. Let us keep moving. So we did also eat, meaning our attack is going to be powered up, which is super, super nice. Let's see what's up. Oh, there's an airlift right there. It looks like we got a nice little guy to fight, which makes it very nice. Look, he's right there. I've been waiting for you. It's time to settle the score once and for all in the arena. Ross, you. You're fighting to save the world. That's it, isn't it? You still have hope, but not for me. For me, there is no hope and no tomorrow. There's only one thing left for me. The heat of battle, the blood coursing in my veins during a battle is the only thing that makes me feel alive. I want to feel alive and I need your help. Ross. I do, I don't want your pity. I just, 
I just want a deathmatch. Right here, right now. I've devoted my life to fighting. It's about time I found out whether it was worth it. What's the matter? Isn't that why you're here? To help me find the answer? You have to fight me. You will never get the sacred teal stone unless you kill me. You, the one they call Aqua. Time to show me the power of the Star Shaper. Let's go. Boss fight. I like it. So, we are pretty overleveled, so the, I'm guessing this fight should be pretty easy. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's do a variable art to start out with, huh? Start off big. So let's go ahead and do variable art A with him. Maya can do variable art B. B. There we go. Yes, variable art B. And with her, we're going to go ahead and... She has a new... Um, Hyper Art, Windmill Rose. So we're gonna go ahead and do Windmill Rose. That's the first time we're ever gonna do that. So we've never done that before. Riot Flag, Bloody Fang. And do we have anything with four? No, I guess we'll just do Rumble Spike again. There we go. We've never seen this before. It's the first time I'm doing it, so it's pretty good. pretty good. I like that. So like I said, this fight should be pretty short, um, over level, and we're going to do very much basically kill him really, really, really quick. But hey, never know, he hasn't attacked yet, he could just do something nuts. Okay, so it wasn't a lot of damage. Shockwave, this is a really cool move. Wow. Oh, I think Maya did quite a bit of damage. Okay. okay. It's not that bad, actually. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and gather um, some AP back, and then we're gonna go ahead and variable R one more time. So with her, we're gonna go ahead and heal. Um, 2,000? Uh, fully restores, yeah, let's go ahead and fully restore. No, we're gonna fully restore Sharon. And Sharon's gonna go ahead and Actually, what am I doing? She's just gonna do the thing she just did. Okay, good. And this fight should be over pretty soon. I think we're gonna do another variable art next. And if he survives the second variable art, I would be um, very surprised. Okay, she got the heal off before you attack, which is super, super nice. That means. We don't really have a chance of her getting one-shotted. He's gonna attack Lang anyway, who has super, super high defense, so it's completely fine. Yeah, he only did 500. That's actually like, pretty sad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do. Um, let's do B this time with him. B. So with Maya, we're just going to. Um, I don't know what innate he is, so I'm just gonna use Aqua Spear. Uh, Nova Heat. Yeah, let's do that. And then with her, we're going to go ahead and do Splash Ray. There we go. Good stuff. He's not dead yet. That's a surprise, actually. This guy's got some HP to him, huh? Of wow. I am very, very surprised he's still alive. And once again, he's attacking Lang with super high HP. <laughs> Literally did nothing. We are way too overleveled for this. Super Saiyan, dude. 
Is he going ghost or something? Hello? Rouse was destructed onto the wrong path. He used the ultimate fang, a move forbidden by the Sky Fang Masters. Ultimate fang is dangerous. It does not draw power from one's fighting spirit. It is fueled by insanity. Use it too often, and it eats away at your very core. Wiser is from our boys, though. Can I... Can I defeat him? He's lost his spirit. He's completely gone! I don't see why not. Ooh. The final round! That's what we gotta do. I must strike with everything I have. Everything I'm made of. Every last thing. So, we have to hit him with that, huh? Yo, calm down, guy. I'm sorry, dude. Chill out. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... What is... What do we gotta do? Sleeping Dragon? Come on, game. Sleeping Dragon? Let's do it. And then we're gonna go ahead and Battle Flash... Wind Blade. With her, we're gonna keep gathering more AP, and we're gonna go ahead and gather more AP with her also. Right, Flag, Bloody Fang, and Bloody Fang, why not? Let's see how much damage he does now. I think Lang is gonna perform his art finally. This could be fun. Oh boy. Tenga, Skyfang's ultimate master stroke. Sleeping dragon. Nothing, nothing. This is the path I chose for myself. All I wish to do is to die nobly in battle. Aye, right, buddy, calm yourself. I give my entire life. This is gonna this suck. Blade. blade of destruction. Do your bidding. Take this destruction. Are you serious? I did 300, everybody. Was that your, like, so-called ultimate move, guy? Like I said, guys, we are very overleveled at the moment. So, that was really sad, actually. Uh, no, let's go ahead and do... Hmm. Go ahead and do Ice, Inferno, Thunderhead. Yeah, why not? Do all three of those. And with her, just go ahead and attack like normal. Was 
at the fight. 40,000 XP, that's like nothing. 2,000, okay. Pretty good. Not too good, but... I, I crave strength so much that I lost my head in search of power. I gave in to the power of the ultimate fang. With each enemy I buried, my grip on reality weakened. By the time I noticed the madness, I had already lost my mind, I think. I think I just got it back now. Ross. The one to whom you will pass on your... The one to whom you will pass on your knowledge. Perhaps you, you will find the truth to strength that I failed to find. Don't say that. We can try again. Together we can. I know about that one, man. I think this dude's dead. I, I don't have much time left. My body fails me even as we speak. This body was nothing more than an instrument. Now that it's over, it's only natural that it wanes. I should thank you for making me feel more alive than I have in many years. Aqua, I will not forget this battle with you. Farewell, Master. Next time, we will be dead. He gone. Ross, what agony you must have endured. Your fight against the Manus must have been arduous indeed. When I die, if we ever meet again, I wonder if we can become teacher and student once more. Stone. I lost my father, and I've lost shipmates before, too. I know what you're going through. But we've got to do... Yeah, I didn't read that. I won't say anything more. If you can tell us that you need to stay here, none of us will stop you. Sigh, you're right. Staying here won't change anything. Not to mention that there are others counting on us. Alright, let's go, dude. Let's get it. Oh, he's smiling, dude. What? How's this dude smiling? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, just heal a little bit, you know. Let's go ahead and heal. Just make sure everyone's good. So this is the aerolith. What's wrong, Aqua? It's calling. Bro, what you mean it's calling? What? What's that sound? Oh, this place is going down, dude. What's that? Oh, that's the source forge. Oh, has it started already? No, that is not the end. The Source Forge is over there. It's calling me. So, that's where the Source Forge is. Demiurge Tower. We have all the stones. It makes sense that the path should be revealed. That must be the Dem Dem Demiurge Tower that Ram spoke of. Demiurge, doesn't that have something to do with creation? Can you? they make anything? You know, like diamonds or gold? Please, Sharon, try to stay focused. We're in the middle of a major world crisis. I know that. I was just kidding. Jeez. So are we going there or not? The final battle draws near. No matter what stands in our way, it's up to us to save the world. Let's move out, people, to Demiurge Tower. It's time to put the Source Forge back the way it was. Let's do it! So, um, little spoiler, this is the last place, uh, it's Magic Circle, go back to the... This is the last place in the game, uh, and also the... Final battle. So, final episode is coming here soon. Where is this tower? Where is it? Where? Ugh, I can't see that. Where is the source forge? Hello? I guess I'll find it. Oh, oh, it's over here. Okay. Dem. De oh my gosh. We're almost at the end of the game, guys. That's nuts. So, guys, uh, we're gonna end off the episode for now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and probably finish the game next episode, I think. Um, 
But just because we finished the game doesn't mean we're done. We're gonna try to get all the other side quests done. Although I don't think there are too many. It'll probably be like one more episode for all the side quests. And we're gonna save the game. And we're gonna call it for today, guys. So today might have been a short episode since we basically flew through that dungeon. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. Today, we might be finishing the game. So, we gotta go to the last place in this game, Demiurge Tower. Don't exactly know how to say that, but anyway, this is our last stop, guys. This is the Source Forge. This is gonna be the final battle. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. We're gonna finish the game, guys. So... I don't know if it's going to be this episode or next, but it's probably going to be this episode. So, the Source Forge is down there. Yeah, probably. It sounds like the Source Forge is moaning. Ugh. There's the three crystals that we have gathered in the past couple episodes. Hey, look what the Sacred Stones are doing. It's as if they understand they know everything hangs on this battle. We cannot afford to lose. We absolutely got to restore the Source Forge back to the way it was. I agree. Very important, very nice. Demiurge Tower. Yeah, we gotta go to this cave over here. It's gonna be some of the hardest enemies in the game. They're not gonna be too hard though. Although I should walk off my Heaven's Gate, because that's still running from last episode. I guess we'll leave that running for now. And, and we'll see later, I guess. Like, we'll, we'll test out the enemies once it wears off. But it looks like we might have a battle here. This is as far as you go, and there's no retreat for you now either. The very fact you must mean... You, the only very fact you're here, you must mean you defeated Ross and gotten a hold of the Sacred Teal Stone. The end will soon change everything, this entire world and every little thing that is in it. In the next world, only the Chosen Ones will have the right to live. You, you were among the Chosen Ones, and yet you try to save those that will be destroyed. Why? Um, we can't just stand around and do nothing. We don't know if we've got the power to restore the world back to the way it was or not. But we, just have, we can't just stand back and do nothing. We have to try. I see you have a strong will to survive, or perhaps a sense of duty. Either way, a man is powerless in the face of destiny. Why are you trying to destroy this world and create a new one? Wouldn't you like to see the new world too? A place in which life and the world itself are intermingled into one? Life in its ideal form. There will be no death, no fear. All life combined into one. The ultimate world. There will be, there'll no longer be any strife. The individual will no longer exist. Trans, transcend life for all eternity. You couldn't possibly understand. You who continue to struggle and fight, ruled by your useless emotions. Are we fighting her? I think we're. I think she's sending out her uh, origin after this guy. Looks like we're fighting it. Just as I expected. I see talking was a waste of time. We are what we are. We can't live any other way. We can't even coexist. There's nothing more for us to talk about. I know you want to advance forward, even if that's killing me. I challenge you, come and face the secrets of Cabal. Forever erased from history and my origin, the spatial origin Vestra. So she's a Cabal? Maybe uh, her and Maya are related then. That'd be, a, that'd be an interesting, uh, interesting plot twist. Okay, we don't have 100 AP on anybody. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get 100 AP. So Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Huck Stroke, Thunder Flash. Let's go ahead and hit Velma with her. Let's go ahead and do Mayhem Aqua Spear uh, on Velma. And with her, let's go ahead and use Windmill Rose. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Crescent Heal, Rising Stars, Rising Stars. Yeah, on Velma. Wow, her defense is quite low. Actually surprising. Maybe her magic defense is high, but her normal defense is low. Twenty-two 
22,000 damage. That's pretty good. And Aang should probably even do more. And just a quick note, guys. We also are probably overleveled for this dungeon also. We're all around level 70. I don't know what we're supposed to go into this dungeon with because I overleveled a lot for the wind power. But it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty good damage to him, so... Okay, so fire is decent, decent against her. Let's see if water is. Okay, water is about the same damage. So earth, earth. So earth is decent against her, so... What is this guy gonna do? Oh, he's gonna revive her. Oh, they're gonna combine. Or oh, maybe it's protecting her. Acolyte's fist. Oh, that's actually pretty strong. Um, I wonder. Can we? Let's do. Let's do a uh, like a. What is it called? A variable attack. So let's go do A with him. With her, we're gonna go ahead and. No, okay, do that attack with her. We're gonna go ahead and pull out a golden... No, we're gonna do a silver brome. And with her, we're gonna go ahead and do B. Phantom Burst, there we go. Hope this does damage. I'm hoping it's not just, like, just magic damage. No! It is just magic damage, probably. That is pretty annoying, actually. That is pretty annoying. Crap. Okay. That all you got? Um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and Origin. Blazing Smash. Let's go ahead and just do another one of those. And Lightning Arrow. I don't I don't really know any other way to take care of this. Oh, he brought her back. So maybe we gotta kill him first. As long as I have best, I will never be destroyed. Okay, so that basically All through yeah. the creation of the new world. For millennia. I have waited for this moment. Come what may. You will not proceed any further. Well, I kind of will. Okay, but this does basically tell me we do have to kill Vestra first. Okay, so we did quite a bit of damage to Vestra. that thing with normal attacks, right? So I guess, do we gotta keep, I guess we're just gonna keep using Origins. Um, let's just use Flaming Fist, and then we're gonna go ahead and guard, and then we're gonna use another Lightning Arrow, I guess. Let's do it!
another origin tower. Maya's gonna hurt right here. Oh. Okay. Then here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and origin. With her, we're gonna guard. And with Sharon, what is what is this? Invincibility pill? Um Invincibility pill. Let's go ahead and use that on Maya, why don't we? Yeah. Make sure she doesn't take any damage, huh? It's a good thing we used the invincibility pill, so that attack was basically useless. I'm gonna use Origin again. Let's go ahead and actually use attack. Why not? Um, let's go use Big Bang, Big Bang. Yeah, let's just use two Big Bangs and Origin power again. It's showtime! Sucks for you. Oh. Oh. Are you gonna get up? Or she's gonna lay there and cry forever? Alright. Spell of dark. Interesting. My origin? No! I endured thousands of years waiting and waiting for this moment. That sucks, doesn't it, huh? Thousands of years? I am a survivor of the Cabell, a race that was destroyed by humans. This body is nothing but a ghost-like shell. It's endured thanks to only to Vestra's power. I spoke of creating a new world, but in truth I was really only driven by a deep hatred. I could never forgive the humans that destroyed my race. So you're saying you survived all that time just to get revenge? I don't imagine you could understand the hatred one feels when one's entire race is wiped out. Sorrow gives birth to hatred, and that hatred in turn bears more sorrow. The important thing is to forget to help each other and to love. That's an old saying among my tribe. Forgive you suggest that let go of those feelings, feelings I've held on to and lived by for thousands of years? People can change, even if you've got all the passion. I know you can change, too. What a simplistic idea. How naive. But I guess that's what human hope is really all about, isn't it? Sad. So, we were, we were just fighting a ghost all this time. It's so sad, I can't stand it. She lived all those years on hatred and wish for revenge. If it were me, I don't think it could have done it, living thousands of years on the sole strength of hatred. I wish we could have understood each other somehow. It's too bad it had to end like this. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well, though. Okay, let's keep going deeper. 
And I'm sure there's going to be a save point before we hit another boss. So I think we can go a bit deeper and we'll be fine. I really hope the Heaven's Gate goes away eventually, man. We've had this Heaven's Gate on us for quite a while. But it's okay for now, I guess. It'd be nice to get to a save point and then maybe... Uh, like, introduce ourselves to all the enemies here. Man, this road is long. And honestly, I'm kind of hoping there's no puzzles in this place. Like, I love myself some puzzles, but puzzles are pretty annoying. Chest. Need a king stone. Guess let's go over here first and see what's up. Where does this take us? This takes us to a camp. Okay. So, that's basically saying the the boss is probably up ahead. Let's go ahead and save. And let's go check out the other way before we keep going. Let's go ahead and just check. Wait. Actually, we should uh, we should probably rest and everything too. Also, probably get a few chats in real quick just to kind of see what's up. Also, probably cook. Okay, let's go ahead and cook pork cutlet. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do a few chats. Sh she, sh she sure was filled with power of hatred. Did we really defeat her? I wonder. I still can't believe it. Can you imagine just wishing and hoping for the destruction of the world for thousands of years like she did? The Cabell race must have been bound by some pretty close ties. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been able to keep it up. She wouldn't have been able to hate for so long for all those thousands of years. There's an old saying among my tribe, the root of love and hate is one, the deeper love is, the stronger hate can be. Do you really think it's okay for me to use this power? It's like Aqua said, there's nothing evil about power itself, it depends on the wielder of the power. Yeah, I guess you're right, I guess I just have to believe in myself. Say Aqua, what's this battle? When this battle's over, what do you plan to do? Um, I'm going back to the village. Well, I guess I'll go back to Noel, the place I was born and raised. Really? How boring is that? Here we are on this fabulous journey. Haven't you, I don't know, developed the taste for adventure? Um, well, even if I have, I'm still going back to normal. I want to see everybody. Yeah, that's what you say, but the truth is there's somebody waiting for you there, right? Come on, you might as well admit it. No, that's not it, really. So the source is down here, huh? I sense something extraordinary. It's some kind of highly charged atmosphere. I've never felt this before. We must stay on our toes from here on out. Alright, so let's just save one more time for good measure. Uh, let's go see what is over on the other side that we didn't go to. Probably just some chests, but um, it's good to just grab everything in here. And we still haven't faced any of the enemies. So we're prob what we're probably going to do here is get go to the other side, grab what's ever there, and then try to walk off this Heaven's Gate. So we can actually face some enemies here. Alright, well here is our first encounter, so uh, we can kind of test the water, see how strong things are. Of course we're ambushed too, come on man, you couldn't let me get get the first, at least give me a normal battle. I guess this way we can see how strong they are, but... Okay, that's really not that strong actually. I mean, they maybe have special moves that are a lot stronger, but that's basically nothing. Let's see what this guy does. Dark him. Uh, let's see how much he's gonna hurt us. I'm guessing 400 each? 400? Oh, wow. Okay. A little bit more than I thought. Still not too much, though. Let's go ahead and use Battle Flash, Wind Blade, um, Hawk, and Demon Thrust. Let's see how much damage that does against one of these things. With Maya, we're gonna go ahead and Big Bang, Big Bang. Now we're gonna hit. Uh, this one and with her we're gonna go ahead and windmill rose blood spark 
riot flag. Yeah, that'll be fine. Actually, no, and we'll we'll hit this one. Let's see how strong these things are. Okay, these things really aren't that strong. Probably about 15,000 HP. So we could kill each of these in one turn. So that's pretty good. Actually, yeah, this is way overkill. This is way overkill. Yeah, it has around 10,000 HP. Which isn't really that strong, actually. It's pretty weak. Power to destroy. Big Bang. Let's see how much health this thing has. Probably one of them will kill him. No, okay. This thing has quite a bit more. Power to create. Uh, Power to destroy. Actually, no. He still has about 13,000, 14,000 HP. Yeah. So, okay. 4,300. So he has, yeah, he has about 15,000 HP then. Langle from this thing. Okay. So, final final conclusion. After the grinding at Wind Tower, we are still over leveled. Which is really, really nice. Alright, so. What happened? Um, we're gonna keep trying to get some of the other enemies, obviously. I kinda wanna see what this place has to offer. 14,000 XP. That's not a lot more than what is offered at the Wind Tower. So I'm not mad. Uh, acquired Heaven's Secret. I'm not mad that we granted at Heaven's Tower so much then. What is this? Rare gem. Said to have fallen down from heaven. Okay. I'll gladly take you on. Okay. New shade flares. Interesting. Let's go ahead and use Flaming Fist. Go ahead and guard, guard. I kind of feel bad splitting up uh, this dungeon into two parts. But I really think Velma's battle and the final battle should probably be split into two. Anyway, let's see how much damage this does. Enough to kill all of them. No problem. That was nothing. That was nothing. Yeah, it literally was. And we doesn't we don't get much XP or gold from those little star things. So that's kind of sad. I won't lose. Okay. Azul Velra. That's kind of interesting. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and origin. Why not? Guard. Yeah, guard. guard. Let's let's see how much the origin yeah. does to this thing. We already kind of determined the level of power of these creatures, and they should be around the same thing, all of them. One of them's not going to be, like, super better than the other one, so... I'm guessing this thing's pro it probably has around 10,000 HP. Okay, so we did 13,000 to it, and it's still alive, so it has probably around 16 right. to 17,000 HP. This thing ran? <laughs> okay. That's... Yeah, that's pretty rare. I never usually get stuff that runs. Alright, guys. Um, I guess we'll end up the episode here and go ahead and continue this next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Legea. Today, we're going to be probably finishing off the game. We're just outside of the final battle. Which is really crazy, guys. What we're on episode 20 something now, so we've gone through this entire game. Uh, but guys, yeah, let's go ahead and preemptively. It's a good lesson for all of you that are gonna play very old games. Let's always save before you go into a final battle or anything. Make sure you save. Also, this was probably my mistake. I should probably rest to heal myself up, get my MP up, get my all that up. So let's go ahead and continue. Now, I don't know how far away the final battle is, but since there was a rest site right there, I'm just going to take a bright guess and say that it's probably pretty near here. So, the path splits, but over here this is the chest, ultimate miracle, I'm pretty sure it's just the healing item, so that's fine. Let's see what we get for an encounter, if we get anything hey, new. How'd that happen? Ambushed. Okay, but there's something new, the grotesque. Death game, okay. We have to follow that card. Follow that card. It's this one. No! Oops. That sucks. All 
another encounter. Let's go down this fork here. See if there's maybe a chest at the end of it. Alright everybody, now that I've kind of seen all the enemies here, we don't really need to level. So we're just going to go ahead and Heaven's Gate again, and this way we don't have to deal with anything anymore. This one goes... Where does this go? Okay, that one goes down here. Where does this take us? Okay, I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to go. So we're going to go ahead and go back up and check out everything else before we go down here. Usually the deeper you go or lower you go, like, it's kind of where you're supposed to go. So I'm going to save that for last. Anyway, we have a Heaven's Gate on, so it's not like we're going to have any encounters or waste our time. Let's go see what's in this cave over here. I'm guessing it's probably just going to be a chest cave. Um, okay. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a boss, I think. I think this is a boss. Okay. Let's fight it. Question mark? Yeah, why not? Let's... <laughs> I don't... Yeah, let's, let's, let's fight it. Wicked Crystal. Interesting. Okay. Can we hit this thing with normal attacks? That's the real question. That's what the game always throws at it. Can you hit it with normal attacks? And let's go and go do Magma Magma. Let's go do Wind Earth. And with her, let's go ahead and just do Windmill Rose. Uh, can we? Yeah, Riot Flag, Bloody Fang, Rumble Spike. There we go. Let's see. Can we do normal damage to it? Yes, we can do normal damage to it, which is nice. That means next turn we'll probably variable art and just try to get it done quickly. Or if it does a lot of damage, we'll mystic art too. about a thousand to each hit let's uh, I probably should have tested some of the other elements but oh well let's see wind earth wind earth okay so they do about the same let's see what this thing does for attacks huh fire water earth okay that really doesn't hurt bell zur okay this might be scary Wasn't that scary? Alright, I think we're- let's go do ahead and go do a variable attack. Let's do A with her. We're gonna go ahead and summer roam with her just in case. And go ahead and do B with Sharon. Let's go ahead and do Phantom Burst. There we go. This should be quite a bit of damage. Ooh, that is a lot. 90,000. Wait, we're done? And that's the battle, guys. Easy peasy. Level up for Lord Crystal. So was that? What? Fire Divine Blue Blue Ice Gem. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yes, let's keep going. I wonder if there's gonna be multiple of those crystals. In a lot of RPGs in the final dungeon. There's like a lot of like small mini bosses. I wonder if that's what they're kind of getting to here. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't. Okay. Okay, that's good. I was getting scared. I'm like, dude, if they give me two long paths, I'm scared I'm gonna go down the right one and not be able to get the other path on camera. But thank God that was only a chest, so we can go along this path, and this is the final path, just like I predicted. Let's go ahead and go down here. Man, that ice crystal fight was pretty 
quick. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty quick. Oops, our uh, thingy wore off. Let's go use another Heaven's Gate. Don't want any, any encounters here because they're annoying. We don't need any more level ups, so no reason to do that. Now, where is the Source Forge? No, I'm pretty deep. Okay, so it gives us a couple of options. I'm guessing this cave is probably another crystal. That'd be my guess. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we got another crystal. So let's go ahead and fight another one. And these crystals shouldn't be too hard. We defeated the last one very, very easily, so... I'm really not too worried about this. Although I do wish our AP was higher so we could perform the variable arts right away. But I guess we'll just stick to gathering AP the first one and then variabling the second. Okay, let's go ahead and use Silver Brome because we didn't actually get to uh, use that. So we're still kind of low on HP. Use Blood Spark, Anchor, Bloody Fang, Rumble Spike. There we go. And that should give us the AP we need to just do another variable art and take care of this thing super quick. Cool. I'm guessing his attacks are probably gonna be the same, yeah. <clears throat> Gun Ruggus Lore, oh boy. This might hurt her a bit. Never mind. Never mind, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and perform a variable art. Probably get rid of this thing. So let's do A one more time. Guard. Let's go ahead and do B with Sharon. And that should be it right there. Should be another crystal down, unless this one has more HP for some reason. Wait, we're done? Yep, we are done. Just like that. 21,000 XP, not too much. 30,000, got some more Lord Crystals. Very nice. Divine Scarlet Gem, the effect of the cooking wore off. Looks like we're gonna have to go back and, uh,. Maybe cook something. Maybe, maybe. I guess let's go ahead and check out what's at the bottom. I'm just gonna take a bright guess and say the left is probably, or the right is probably where the story wants us to go. Maybe. What is all the way down here? It's a cave. Is it. Oh, this might be where we're, we were supposed to go. Yeah, this might have been where we're supposed to go for the story. Okay, some chests. For the Vigor, Heaven's Secret, okay. Um... Let's go back and take a look at that last uh, that last path real quick. Because it looks like this is the way we were supposed to go. And I want to make sure and grab every single item path thing we can. Oh, it's one of these down things. Maybe Is this the way we were supposed to go? It is. The other way was not. Okay. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and cook real quick. Yep, pork cutlet, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and make another one of those. Go ahead and rest. Save. 
and then we're gonna go all the way back around to make sure we grab everything from that other place ah <sighs> it's a little bit annoying that we have to do that but we got to do what we got to do I want to make sure I grab everything in this dungeon so Oh no, each of these has one of those down things. Blech. Okay, well this one doesn't have a resting camp, so that gives me hope that at least it's not a boss one. Okay, it's another cave, so I'm just going to take a bright guess and say it's probably another crystal. Sure is. Alright, and I think we can perform variable arts right away since I did get my AP up, so I wonder if that'll just instantly kill it. I guess we will see now. Let's go ahead and do B. And let's go ahead and do A with Sharon. There we go. Let's see if it kills it. Oh, that is a lot more damage. 91,000. Okay. So it did kill it. Instantly. Very nice. Okay. Lots of gold. I'll take it. Acquired Divine Gem of Dawn. I wonder if we're gonna need all of these gems to actually like go to the final area or something. I guess we'll see later. Let's go see what's in here. Probably just another chest, I'm hoping. Hopefully it doesn't waste my time like the other one did. Splits in a two. Okay, where does this one take me? Test room. Okay. Need a kingstone, sand dragon eye. What is this? Oh, it's a secret chest. Okay, can we get stone to pop that boy out? Can we get. Oh, yeah, we can just pull it out. No, 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 no. I'll pick it back up. No, don't. Oh. Oh, wait, he's open it now. Valkyrie stone. Okay. I was like, why are you just dropping it back in there? Okay. Cool. There's another stone to take us down. Interesting. No, this is the final. Oh, no, the other place wasn't the final then. Alright, guys, so I just realized... I went to my items. We have a bunch of stuff here that can teach things, man. So, Aqua's Raging Fang. Oh, so we already know Raging Fang. What about Absolute Zero? This is from Maya. 
Did I have these and just didn't realize it? Holy crap, I am very, very smart. These are probably all moves that I probably could have used, honestly. Oops. And then with the bros. We already know windmill. Okay. Okay, well, now it was basically a lot of Mayas. Maya knows a lot more moves now. Okay, guys, we are at the final door here. We're going to go ahead and cook one more time because the cooking did wear off. We're going to go ahead and rest. Then we're going to have a few chats. Have a few chats. Aqua, listen carefully here. Just because you won that one little match, don't go thinking you're stronger than me. Uh, recommend you retire. Master, I hate to say it, but you're not getting any younger, you know. Maybe you better start thinking about retiring. What did you say? Don't get smart with me, you little greenhorn. You're my pupil, so I went easy on you, that's all. Now I know I shouldn't have been so nice. If that's the way you're gonna be, I won't go easy on you. I'm taking out my sword. I'll be some sense into your hide. M Master, I was just kidding. Don't take it so seriously. That sword is your keepsake from Ross, remember? <laughs> no more talk. I'm not gonna let it slide this time. Get ready. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. What could this jewel-like thing be? The one we got when we killed the wicked crystal. Oh yeah, the thing we picked up when we killed that glass you. The monster was there to protect us. So maybe this jewel some kind of key. I've got an idea. If you don't find a use for it, how about giving it to me? I could take it to the auction. There would be rich people swarming all over it. Is that all you ever think about? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? Okay, just a few more chats. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is the same chat. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Go ahead and do a savey save. Alright, everybody. So, this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as opposed to the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. We're right in front of the final door, so today's going to be an exciting episode, so let's get going. So, a large door blocks away, there are three holes in which something can be inserted. Insert the gem? Yes! So we defeated three crystal things, and they each gave us a crystal. So, look at that. Makes sense. Through this door, huh? Yeah, we're at the end of the tower, so it's gonna be it. The Source Forge is in there, isn't it? Yeah, and I bet he's in there too. Avalon. And he has the supreme power. Have we really got the chance of defeating him, even all of us together like this? I don't know. Come on, don't wimp out on us now. We've got- we've come this far. We've got to win now. Oh, what am I saying? Of course we'll win. The entire world is riding on this battle. We can do it. We're taking our world back and making it out of this alive. Let's go, dude! Big door, big crystals, big final fight. Let's get it. It's gonna be easy. There's the big source forge, and there's Avalon. Ooh, spooky. This is where the world was created. Ah, uh, people are getting sick and stuff. But soon, this worthless world will come to an end. We're not gonna let that happen. Yo, what up? We're never gonna let you get away with destroying this world. We're gonna defeat you and return the Source Forge back to the way it was. That's what we've come to do. You've wasted your time. You can't resurrect a lifeless thing, even if you are the one that controls the stars. Look, the Source Forge isn't glowing anymore, don't tell me. That's right, my own Supreme Origin has taken the power of the Source Forge and made it its own. A long time ago, life was first created here. 
The Source Forge wanted to wanted the world to be filled with fine, worthy beings, and so the life that emerged continued to evolve. But then the evolution started to move in the wrong direction. Something happened that was never meant to be. Beings with wills of their own were born into this world. And what beings were those exactly? Humans. Because of that foolish will of human beings, they lost sight of the meaning of living here in this world. They became confused, they fought, they killed. They couldn't live without hurting others. Humans are the true ruin of this world. And I just unplugged my controller. No. You're wrong. Maybe humans do fight and hit each other sometimes. But they help each other. They share kindness and warmth with each other too. That's right. You make it sound like human beings are the bad guys here. But don't you think what you're doing is a whole lot worse? What you haven't realized yet is that every living creature in this world has its own will. We all depend on the world for life. Without this world, life wouldn't exist. Why is it you can only see things from the point of view of human beings? We mystics were born into this world to create a new era. None of you seem to realize yet what you were destined for. I was born with the supreme power and as the one that controls the stars. And that means I was chosen, chosen to wipe out this world rife with human species and create a new, perfect world. In order to build this perfect world, I have to first destroy the present one. I upset the balance of the Source Forge and made the Black Sun appear. Soon the Eclipse will cover this world and destroy it. And then, with the power of the Source Forge in my possession, I will create my new, perfect world. Even if you are a Star Shaper like myself, how can you save the world, now that the Source Forge has lost its power? I see you've brought the sacred stones with you, but they won't do any good now. This world will be destroyed. You won't let that happen. Your thinking is all wrong. There isn't any part of this world that isn't necessary. And that goes for humans as well as mystics. I love every part of this world. Human beings, nature, everything. And that's why I've been able to come this far, because I know I don't want to lose any part of it. If you say you've stolen the Source Forge's power, then I'm going to get it back. Even if I, if I really am a star shaper like you, then I should be able to do it. You still don't seem to understand. You may be a star shaper too, but I have both my origins, supreme power, and... The power of creation taken from the Source Forge on my side. You are lacking in fire pile, fighting a hopeless war. And now, I'll let you experience for yourself the power of creation I took from the Source Forge. So that's the supreme origin. Go, dude! Fight me! Avalon. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and stack some AP, which I probably should have done before this battle, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and do one blade. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. With her, Maya. Let's go ahead and use. Um, let's go ahead and use the point card. And let's go ahead and stack some AP with her also. So Rumble Spike, Riot Fly, there we go. Okay, so we do do damage to you. Okay. Good. That's pretty good. We could do more though. I'm wondering how much should I put on that point card? Should be quite. I think around fifty-five thousand. Forty-one thousand. Okay. And that's actually the end of the battle. Look at that. Although, I know it's not the end, if you know what I'm saying. Just disappeared. Okay.
back. Witness the power of creation, the power to produce something out of nothing. Break my body as many times as you like, but it's no use, I'll come back to life each time. What's the matter? Where are all of your vows to defeat me now? Looks like you finally understand the difference between our powers. <clears throat> Compared to my origin supreme power and the power of creation I took from the Source Forge, your measly powers are nothing. We can't, can't give up now. As long as I have any breath left in me, I'm never gonna give up. And there's the stones. Look, the stones. What is this blinding light? Ooh, the stones are combining. Very nice. Listen to me, O oh creatures of life. As long as you are alive, you must never give up, as long as you possess life. I am the will of all living creatures that inhibit this world, and I am their power. This light, I feel a, str I feel a strong will flowing through it. It's powerful, yet warm. The sacred stones must have heard our prayers. They knew we didn't want to lose this world. We aren't the only ones battling to keep it. This entire world will to live is fighting right alongside us. Yes, now is a crucial moment. We must take a desperate effort. It's incredible. The light of the sacred stones is suppressing Avalon's power of creation. The power now might be our best opportunity to win, Sharon. No, it might be our only opportunity to win. You think we've got a chance, huh? Good enough for me. I've made up my mind a long time ago when I die. It's gonna be surrounded by countless treasures. No way I'm gonna die in a place like this. It's so warm. This must be the light of hope. The world hasn't come to an end quite yet, and I swear on the pride of my tribe, I'm not gonna let that happen. What happened? The power that was rushing through my veins like a torrent. The power of creation. It, it's, it's gone. It can't be. Is this the power of hope really suppressing my own power? Yes, we got the power now, boys. Hope, there isn't any such origin. There's no such thing as the power of hope. Everything should be according to my will. Does the world itself really have a will to survive? Impossible. You're wrong. People aren't the only ones that have wills of their own. Every creature in this world, everything that possesses life, has a will of its own. Every last creature, good or small, holds the will to live. It's an inner spirit. As long as we have that will, the drive, we will fight. The will to live. Where's the power in that? An inner spirit. None of it means anything. Go ahead and try to use such meaningless power. Do you really think it'll help you match my power? Imper impertinent fools. If that's what you believe, I'll let you give it a try. But you'll never win against my supreme origin. Alright, dude, let's go. Let's go, dude. Dot. Dot. Uh, do we have enough AP? We don't. Uh, we don't. Oh, man, that's kind of annoying. Alright, well, what we're gonna do then, we're gonna go ahead and Skyfang, uh, Battle Flash, Wind Blade, go ahead and. Ooh, see, we got some new. We got some new uh, Hyper moves that we've actually never tried before yet. Alright, then we're gonna go ahead and. Hmm. Let's just do Aqua Spear. Uh, magma, Aqua Spear, and just do some random ones. <clears throat> now with Sharon, we're gonna go ahead and use 
Windmill Rose. And then what can we combo with it? Riot Flag, Bloody Fang, Rumble Spike. There we go. Okay, that's, that's more damage than we did last time, which is nice. Something big. Seb Squish. I can't even pronounce that. Faith effects terminated. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, variable art then, why don't we? So, solid strike. Let's go ahead and do. You know what? No, with her, we're gonna go ahead. Hmm. I guess let's just. You know what, we're just gonna guard with... What do I do? Um, actually, let's just attack, might as well. Let's do Ice Pyre, Ice Pyre. And then with her, we're gonna go ahead and do B. Let's go ahead and do Battle Flash, Wind Blade, and then let's do another Wind Blade, I guess. Here, let's go ahead and use. Let's use a healing item, preferably a Barome. Or is it Barome's right here? Let's go ahead and do a Silver Barome. And let's go back and get some AP. On her too, so we can do another variable or a second here. near to kill us, but that's a good bit of damage. So we're definitely going to variable our A. 
uh, with the origin we're going to do glorious mercy and we're going to variable our b there we go Looks like it yeah, looks like we won this way. I I am still too weak. This pain it is proof that I am still unable to let go of my humanity and my weakness. Final fight. This is the actual final fight. So let's go ahead and build some AP since we used it on our last one Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Wind Blade again. Uh, we already have 100 AP on her. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I guess it's just Aqua Spear Nova Heat. Let's see how much damage that does. And build AP on her. Riot flag. Riot flag. Bloody fang. Yeah, that should work. forget about our HP? Our HP is still low. Ugh, I forgot about that. I forgot about our HP. It's still low, I think. Okay, we still have a chance to heal them. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead. Are we? No, we're not under half. Okay, then we'll just do variable art then. Let's go ahead and variable art. So we're gonna do variable art A. We're gonna go ahead and origin glorious mercy and variable art B. Do that. Nice. 82,000. Okay, that's a good amount. We'll probably have to do that a couple times to actually kill this.
but we're on full HP now, so he doesn't really have a chance to one-shot us, which is nice. Destruction fist. Wow. That hurts. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Um, let's do... Sleeping Dragon. And then Battle Flash. Divine Bolt. Wait. Okay, let's restart that real quick. Sky Fang. Uh, yeah, Battle Flash. We do have enough for four, right? Yeah, okay, then we get Divine Bolt. Okay, that's good. With her, let's go ahead and... That revives and restores. We don't need that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and heal Aqua. And let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's do Windmill Rose, and then Riot Flag, Bloody Flag, Rumble Spike. See what it does, ruler. That's pretty scary. Sharon is bewitched. Ooh, if she hits someone of us, that could really hurt. Actually, I'm gonna use battle flash, wind blade, ox stroke, demon thrust. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. What should we do? Should we use? Kinda scared. Let's just go ahead and use a silver broom, I guess. Ow! Don't do that, dude. Dude, she's gonna kill him. That was close. Oh, we should have. Um, probably should have gotten rid of the status effects with Maya. Ugh. That was a mistake on my part. I don't, I don't think it'll cost me the battle, but that was pretty dumb of me, actually. I don't know why I didn't think of getting rid of her effects instead of... I guess healing's good, too, because it'll heal everybody, but... So this will heal him. Not not amazingly. Never mind. Very amazingly. Pretty good. But I probably should get Sharon out of the Bewitchment, though. Appearance? Wow, these are all new moves every single time. Sharon isn't bewitched anymore. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and use another variable. Wait, are we all... No, wait, are we, are we below half? I don't know. Ah, I want to use... I want to use my mystic. But I'm scared I'm not below half. I think we'll, ju we'll just go with the variable art then. We're going to go ahead and Glorious Mercy. And let's do B. Go. Still not dead though. But we're gonna heal real quick 
everyone's gonna be full HP. So once again, we're out of one shot range, which is really nice. Stack AP again. But wind blade, there we go. And we could probably do nah, you know what? We'll just we'll just st stack all of them. Uh let's go ahead and heal. Let's just do another silver brome. And let's go ahead and stack AP again. Blood spark, riot flag, rumble. That'll work. So we're not actually sharing this below half. No, she's not. Uh, is she? I think she might be. We could probably miss the guard with Sharon. Now this might be a bat. Are we below half with him? No, we're not below half with him. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Hmm. I guess we'll do variable art. Honestly, like I really want to. I really want to Mystic Art, but technically there's no reason to. Variable Arts are just as strong. So I guess we use Variable Art instead. Another 82,000. Still not dead. Wow. Okay. Should be close to dead though. And we're going to quickly fully restore everyone's HP once again. Make sure no one is in one-shot range. Oblivion Light. Pretty sure this wasn't that strong, was it? Oh, it just removes all favorable effects, which doesn't really matter, honestly. Not in the long run. Let's go ahead and do Sky Fang and then Battle Flash, Wind Blade. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and. What can we do? Should we do. Into the Mystic Art. I guess just to make sure, we'll Silver Brome and then stack some AP. So, Lord of Eden. Rising stars, rising stars. Let's just keep rising, rising star, why not?
this is Nightmare. I'm pretty sure this is a new one, so. Purif oh, she was gonna purify her. Well, that's a really good thing the purify guard triggered. Okay, how much is it for variable art? 56? Okay, then we can go ahead and do another variable art. And we're going to go ahead and. Hmm. What should we do with her? You no, know we're just gonna make sure. No, you know what? No, we're not. We're just gonna go ahead and attack. Uh, let's go ahead and use Nethergate and Raging Sky. Why not? You know what? We're going to go and attack with her there. Let's go ahead and do B. Because Maya's probably not going to even get to attack, honestly. This variable art might just kill it. <laughs> Another 82,000. So that's 82,000 four times already. Yeah, just like I predicted, that's probably it. How could you defeat my infinite strength? It's not so infinite, my guy. Sorry about that. of all things. It can create everything. I've come all this way by believing in myself and in my friends. I want to live to see tomorrow and be good to those who are good to me. And of course, hope has kept me going. All these things give me strength. That's why I won't lose to someone like you. Someone who got drunk on his own power and lost his soul. Preach it. I'll never let you take over this world. Well, he's not done yet? What? This dude ain't done yet. What a nut job, dude. I thought he'd be done by now. Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Ox Stroke, Thunder Flash. How is this dude not done yet? Nether Gate, Raging Sky. It's Gordon Do. Blood Spark. Nope. Blood Spark. Riot Flag. Bloody Fame. Yep. Let's do that. Able to have a chance to pull off a Mystic Art, maybe? If he pulls out something that's stronger than his other forms, he could get people right below half. So maybe we have a chance for Mystic Arts in this fight. Maybe. Yikes. Human feeling, you said. That's meaningless. The only thing I believe in is power, nothing else. You may have defeated me, but the Source Forge no longer has any power left. Seems like you're wrong again, buddy. Oops.
We put the sacred stones back. Why won't the source forge work? Maybe Avalon was right. Maybe the source forge power really doesn't have any power left. Ooh, that was a hard punch. Dang it. After all we've done, after we fought so hard, don't tell me it was all for nothing. the head honcho what the hell is going on perhaps because the source forge lost its power it no longer has the strength to support this tower the power to sustain the entire world might even be lost after all we've been through what the hell was it all for listen to me oh creatures of all life as long as you're alive you must never give up as long as you possess life I won't. I can't give up. I have to put my faith in the power of hope in my own strength one more time. Let's do it, dude. Hey, I like the music, though. Science. Kick it. Akko, what are you going to do that's not going to accomplish anything? The Sacred Stones helped us before. They showed us the power of hope. Please, Sacred Stones, please give me your strength one more time. Please show me the power of hope once again. Galia, I'm with you. Even if I must die to let others live, I'll do what I can until the last moments. Me too. I'll help Aqua. Oh, count me in. We'll pour one our will to live straight into the source. I read that completely wrong. I'm in too. No way I'm going to die in a place like this. Let me add my will to live too. I want to live to see tomorrow. I don't want to lose our world. We're dead. <laughs> Oops. We're dead. Maybe not. Where am I? You're in the place between life and death. Humans, no. All living creatures are continu continually reincarnated here. You shouldn't be here. You still got a home to go to. You still got people waiting for you. Here. Let me give you this. It might come in handy. It's glue! It's a fragment of something called hope. Hang on to it. Aqua, I'm sure you can see it now. The path you were meant to follow. Stick to that path and you'll be alright. Ross? Ooh, what is he doing here? Hello? We're just gonna see every person we killed here? Where's Elfin? Where's Elfin at? Hey, but we got some nice little glue, so that's cool. Some hope. Very nice. Hey, we're alive. Look at that. And it's bright out. Aqua. Oh, it looks so beautiful. The skies aren't red anymore. It's sick. We're back at Stone's little abode. Where are we? Where is the Source Forge? What happened to the world? One question at a time, please. I just realized you were here a moment ago. The sun, the black sun is gone. We did it. The world is back to normal. Agua. 
master. Master, what what's, what's going on? You heard what Rayam said? The world might not return to normal. However, it does appear that we stopped it from being completely destroyed. The Mirage Tower and the Source Forge must have been destroyed in the battle. There's no way for us to know how much longer the world will survive. It's not gone. The Source Forge isn't gone. The world is still here. That means it must be somewhere. You're right. Hope is what saved the world. And everything that lives in this world has that power. The power of hope. The will to live. There's nothing, nothing stronger in this world. The will to live, huh? Well, I don't know that I've been happy to be alive on more occasions than I can count. Emotions like that one, they must pull together and become the will to live. At least that's what I think. The more lives there are, the stronger the will to live becomes. And when that feeling gets strong enough, the world will go back to the way it was. Right, Aqua? Yeah. And no. We're not going to put back the things the way they were going to make our world as we go. Legaya 2 Dual Saga. So guys, that is the end of the game that is the final boss Oof. we finished it guys so the credits are gonna roll so guys here's the thing the game is done we beat the game um, but there are a lot of side quests and other things that we have. Hey, look at that. Bubba's the champion. Nice. He found his place. But there are a lot of side quests and things that we haven't gotten done yet. So there are going to be a couple more episodes of this. It's not the end end because we've got lots of other things to do in this game. So I'm not going to be like, this is the final episode, because there are going to be a couple more, maybe one or two more. But this is the end of this game as a story, so I will do my review of the game now instead of the last episodes. Um, my review of this game isn't going to be very long. Um, basically, all I'm going to say is that this is one of the best games ever created one of the best JRPGs ever created in my top three games of all time and every single one of you should play it what's going on here oh Sharon's with the ship um I guess we can kind of go th through a little bit more detailed review I've got to get past the credits so I've got to talk until that's kind of over so what did I like about the game? Now, here's the thing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not gonna lie to myself. Part of the reason why I love this game so much is because of nostalgia. Who are these kids? I gotta get some water, man. Where's Kenjiro at? I wanna see Kenjiro. Let's see she seems happy. She seems happy. Anyway, so, I'm not gonna lie, a big part of why I liked this game was the nostalgia, obviously. I played this when I was little, so I'm genuine, so I'm just naturally going to like this game, but I do have to say, the plot, although very cliche, kind of, we have to save the world, oh, we saved the world, I just hit my mic, using hope. I still think the way they made it out, I think it's a really good story, I think they did it really well. The characters are fleshed out pretty well to the extent that they could be. What is going on here? Where are the treasures going? So overall, characters are very nice. Plot's very nice. The one thing that I... Oh, it's Kenjiro. Hey, there's Kenjiro and his brother or sister or something. Um, 
what was I even gonna say? Oh yeah, like this game still holds up to this day. So you guys know my favorite game of all time that we played before this is Chrono Cross. My favorite game of all time, above this game. The one thing that it was lacking was kind of that does it hold up factor, right? You played it, you're like, wow, this is a great game, I'm having fun, but you can tell in the graphics and the mechanics that it's old. It really is old. The thing that I really loved about this game is the fact that it was made a long time ago, but somehow it really doesn't feel like it got old. Yeah, maybe the graphics are a little bit pixelated, but when I looked at this game, when I played this game throughout this series, I never once felt like, wow, this is an old game. Throughout the game, throughout the entire part, I just thought, this is a game. This isn't an old game. This is a game. The graphics didn't bother me. How things sounded, how things worked didn't bother me. I, I don't know if I'm getting that across very well. It's just the fact that, like, I didn't see a difference between this game and, like, a modern AAA release with, like, fancy graphics. To me, both are the same because the graphics really do hold up. For the how old this game is, the graphics hold up. Maybe the animations could be a little bit better, but other than that, stuff really holds up. What's going on here? Let's see what happens to Maya, honestly. That's who I'm interested in. She's my favorite character, so I want to see what happens to her. I mean, I guess she just returns back to her family, huh? Or her family, I mean, family's dead, but, you know, to her village. Uh, but yeah, overall, I quite enjoyed this game. Now, I do have to be transparent, I am playing this on an emulator. So, if you want to get your hands on an original copy of this game, it's on PS2. So, if you want to play this game, like, authentically, you're gonna just have to buy a PS2, buy a copy of Legea. Two, Legea 2, it's Legea 2, not first Legea, and yeah, play it that way. Or you just download an emulator and do it how I did it. I do have to say the emulator does not feel different from the console, like, I haven't showed you guys, but I'm actually, I am playing on a controller, so, um, it doesn't feel any different, it's very nice, it's a nice port, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it's very nice. And one thing I do gotta say about this game, this game is very underrated in my opinion. If you looked at the sales of this game as a game, like a company releasing a game, this game was actually a failure. I'm pretty sure like they lost a lot of money on this game because it didn't sell units. But this game is amazing. I don't get why. I mean, I kind of get because I this game came out during like the heyday of Final Fantasy, so I, I get I get it. But this game really is amazing, and I'm I'm sad that. Not a lot of people got the chance to play this game. Because everybody knows Final Fantasy VII. Aqua, he's gone. Yeah, always thought he'd take charge of the village corpse after me, though. Okay, I'm just gonna, last word. Everyone knows Final Fantasy X. Everyone knows Final Fantasy VII. Everyone knows Chrono Trigger. But not everyone knows this game. And it's such a shame because this game is a masterpiece when it comes to JRPGs. Yeah, I've always thought he'd take charge of the Vigilus Clips after me, though. Hey, the Aqualith is back. Sick. But he... He's different from us, somehow. I don't know what exactly, but whatever it is, this town's not big enough to hold him. What's the matter? You're regretting not chasing after him. Well, of, of course not. I wasn't thinking of that at all. Besides, he'll be back. That's true. This is where he grew up. He'll definitely be back. Even stronger and even wiser. What am I doing in Gale Canyon? I guess I'm just I'm just chilling on a canyon, okay dude. 
doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it's meant to show his... He's still adventuring out there doing his thing. The end. Sad days. We're done with the game. And... The one complaint I have about this game is it's one of those games where you finish and you actually go back to the last point before the final fight. So it is that type of game, which kind of sucks. So you basically finish the game and you come back before. So you don't really have that sense of accomplishment, but it is what it is. Um, let's quickly rest. But this does help kind of transition into the game's technically not done. So let me get out of this just so I can just stand here. So guys, the game is done. You got my little review of the game, a very biased review, but you got it. So guys, I would say this is the last episode. See you guys in the next game, series, video, whatever, but it's not going to be. There's going to be minimum at least one more episode maximum probably three to four more because there's some challenges we still need to finish still some items i want to collect i still want to see some monsters there's still a couple things that i want to do so guys uh thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure you like a comment as well as the channel and i will see you guys in the next legaya video we're not done god bless and goodbye
everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. We only have one big challenge in front of us, which is the dream match against Steel and Avalon. So, we're going to be just solely focusing on that, but we do need to prepare. So, there's a few things I need to do. Gather a few more Heaven Secrets, just so I can max out Lang's armor, considering he's the only one that's going into the fight. I need to get to level 99. I need to just, like, restock my medicines, and then we do the fight. So, yeah, let's just get started. First, I need to get, I think two heaven secrets because we did get one from the centurion challenge last episode and if we look i think i just need to upgrade these three so i need two more and luckily i can actually buy two from the ultimate weapon shops so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now he sell oh so this is it right here i know remarkable fellow he makes high quality armor he calls it the ultimate armor shop there we go Ain't that, uh, ain't that the truth? You should go and see for yourself. Okay, now I have the ultimate armor shop, and I can go ahead and buy, just straight up buy one Heaven Seeker from him. Okay, so I think what I need to do, because I was like sitting at the weapon place very confused, I think I need to buy stuff from him, and then it'll let me open it. But anyway, let's go to the ultimate armor shop right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on here. So I've never been here, so I didn't even like really look up a guide on what this place is. But I think this place just basically sells the highest tier weapons in the entire game, excluding Heaven Secret stuff, you know, Ultimate Armor Shop, okay. So I think I need to talk to this guy and he'll actually give me it. They say, okay, yes I am, one million, perfect. And then this guy actually will sell stuff to me, yeah. Now, I don't really need any of this stuff. Cool, now we have another one. We need one more Heaven Secret, I think. And let's go ahead and go to the Ultimate Weapon Shop. But first, I need to unlock it. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. There we go, that's exactly what I needed. So I must have not combined enough weapons, which is surprising. Um, but I guess I really didn't do much combining in the entire game, but okay, that's that's it That's all we needed. I'm pretty sure because now we have that nickname Let's go ahead and talk to my boy and he should give me the ultimate weapon shop and I do I spent a lot of money But I still have enough um, I Happen to know the best weapons maker to ever hammer a blade he lives in the desert island well almost deserted He calls his own shop the supreme Weapon shop. Ain't that a hoot. Anyway, you should visit if you've got the chance. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's head over. And, um, yeah. So then we'll upgrade all of his armor. I think we'll have to maybe do a bit of, a bit of uh, materials gathering. Um, okay. It should be right here at the weapon shop. Cool, 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 cool. And then, um, the only thing that I'll need to do is basically get to level 99, which I'll have to do completely off camera because that'll probably take several several hours but um maybe i'll just do like the 100 challenge again or something we'll see because this time i kind of know what enemies i'm facing so it should be like you know a lot easier but let's go in here and if we talk to this guy he will sell me it yep gimme gimme all right so there's now we have three heaven secrets in total ah there we go yep he's selling a bunch of this stuff i might need to buy some of these yeah, because also what I'll need to do for Lang is combine to get some of his best accessories. Okay, well, cool. Anyway, let's go outside and let's see if we have all of the materials to combine into Lang's best stuff. Okay, so if we come over here... Okay, we need this. Perfect. Bam. Now we've got the best one. As far as his... Um, Arm armor, we need a divine hope. There we go. Bam bam. And then for his leggings, we need. Oh, I guess we need to make the evil boots first. Yeah, evil boots first. Then ruler leggings. And then we need another evil jungle stone. Alright, everybody, I bought that stone. So let's go over here. Stone alpines. Cool. And then the last one should be the valiance piece. Okay, so now. All four of Lang's stuff is completely maxed out. This is the best stuff in the game. So the only thing we can do from here on out is basically just his equipment, um, which I'll have to look into to make it the best. 
Okay guys, so I'm looking at a guide here. I need to get a tireless ribbon, a gladiator ribbon, and an alarm badge. So that's what I'm gonna be working towards. Okay, so let's do the dead end badge and the knockout badge, which makes the alarm badge, which is what we need there. So the alarm badge, okay. Okay, so I need to talk to this guy. I need healing, I need like two of these, okay. I need to do the muscle with the winged and I get a sagely ribbon, okay. So now, I need to get that Sagely Ribbon with Flash Earrings. Okay, so if we do the Extract and the Muscle, we get a Gladiator Ribbon. And this is the correct Gladiator Ribbon. Okay, cool. So now we have two of the three pieces. So we have the Alarm, we have the Gladiator, now we just need the Tireless Ribbon. Okay guys, so I finally have everything I kind of need, right? So I have my flash earrings with the sagely ribbon, I have the gladiator, and I have the alarm one. Now I just need to um, combine the flash with the sagely, but I need both of those to be max level first. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, max those the out. The alarm badge was made with a knockout badge and a dead end badge, and then I made a gladiator ribbon um, by combining a muscle ribbon and an extract badge. And then lastly, I made the tireless ribbon by combining flash earrings with a uh, maxed out flash earrings with a maxed out sagely ribbon. And I made those flash earrings uh, by buying, by using the secret market and buying a bunch of the winged and the healing uh, thingies, uh, accessories, and combining them until I got that. So now I'm just in this place trying to level up and I'm just slowly, you know, um, obviously now I have to... Uh, level up all of these accessories. So once I get to 99 and level up these accessories um, Then I'll basically be ready for that dream match, which we're gonna do. Oh, and one last thing actually before I go um, There's a few other small things I need to do before the dream challenge mainly I need to get more Invincibility pills. So I tried the dream match already once and I got blasted by Avalon with like 5,000 damage I need invincibility pills and I think I found a way online to make them. I don't know yet, but um, once I'm once I'm getting close to the 99 or I get out of this dungeon, then I'm gonna go and try and do it. All right, everybody. After a long, long while, I think we are ready to actually take on the dream battle. It is late, um, but I'm ready to do this now. Just a few quick points. So I am not level 99, but it's because I think I could do it without actually being max level through cheesing of invincible pills or uh, yeah invincibility pills which i didn't realize you could actually make i googled and it said it's they're not craftable it's like they actually are all you need to do is go to the um, tanza buy a sword take that sword bring it to jenga trade it for uh pills and then from the secret market you could buy materials to make those pills into invincibility pills so I basically got a bunch of invincibility pills and I um, have certain things in my accessories which I'll show you in a minute which will give me certain properties to do a lot of damage equaling a win in the dream. So let me show you really quick. Um, oh my controller is dying here. So if we look at, um, so I just got done leveling up the accessories now I'll kind of show you. Um, if we put max H AP, this will mean we always have 100 AP. And full power means if we block, we get three times power. So basically, I'll always be able to use a Mystic Art. And this will give me three times the strength. And then all I need to do is have full MP. And then use an Invincibility Pill. Which basically means I can't die. And I can use Mystic Arts whenever I want. As long as I get hit enough, you know what I'm saying? So... We basically win like i don't even need to be you know level 99 because we win and then i already double checked and i'm pretty sure that my dream battle is already unlocked so that's all good let's go ahead and go over here let's go to the dream match and i wouldn't be surprised if i probably fail this a few times okay well uh you know it is what it is okay 
seeing this footage then. Ha. Dude, I'm literally dead because that blood is dead. That's a, that's a right shape right there, my guy. Alright everybody, let's get started round one. So we got Sharon, which is super, super easy. She tends to outspeed me, um, but that's okay because I just need to basically survive one hit from her and she's basically dead. Unless she like does some weird thing where she blocks everything, but I made sure to take off all of her equipment before the round and that includes all of the other party members that we're probably going to face. Yeah, you can see here I'm doing like a solid, you know, like 1000 damage and you know, she only has like 4,000 HP and I just did 17,000 so that's not going to be, you know, too much of an issue here. And it looks like we get a 50% recovery bonus, which isn't bad. Um, not like we technically need it though, we've got plenty of healing items and we've got a lot of healing when we defend and when we hit. Alright, uh, Maya, round two. This one's even easier because she doesn't tend to outspeed me. Once again, she probably would outspeed me. Um, if she had all of her stuff on her, which you could probably see from all of those deaths that I had earlier. Um, yeah, it was because she kept out speeding me and killing me. But not anymore because I, you know, used my brain a little bit. I'm like, hey, how about I just stop being lazy and just take that stuff off my character. And we beat her in the first one. Recovery bonus, 80%. Easy, easy. Let's see, who's round three? You won't forget Bubba. Oh, I love Bubba. One of, uh, one of the... Uh, comments was about Bubba in the earlier and yeah Bubba's sick um, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go ahead and do for the first time I'm gonna guard so I get that three times uh, bonus and even with just using some hyper arts here oh, yeah let's just defend one more time just in case he does something crazy okay actually that's a lot of damage now let's yeah, now let's use it, because I think his big attack is out of the way here. And even using just Hyper Arts, I think I'd be able to kill him here. Oh, I'm messing up my buttons. But yeah, just two Sleeping Dragons, and I think with the three times attack, I think this will be just enough to kill him. I don't think Bubba has that much HP anyway. But you can see here, even with this, I'm probably going to do around 200,000 in damage, so around that ballpark, and that's way more HP than he even originally has, so, yep, 224,000 actually, but yeah, so, the further I go into these rounds, I'm probably going to have to do the whole guard three times, then attack method, um, and one thing, if you guys are coming here looking for, like, I don't want to say, like, a clean, 100% exceptional round, you know, no damage, that's not going to be it, I, so I have a problem with this build. Okay, and Sloga real quick. Okay, he is just going to be just like Bubba. I'm just going to guard and then attack. Um, my strategy for beating this is the cheese strategy where I just spam invincibility pills and slowly wear them down. There are some people that do the opposite and just don't do invincibility pills and what they do is just straight up um, try to kill him in one or two attacks by using um, Mystic Guards. Now there is a problem with that. Um, all of my items that I've been preparing for the last couple episodes, and I think I'm going to do 200,000 damage here, all the items that I've been preparing for all the episodes have healing, automatic healing, so healing when I get hit and healing when I do it. So what ends up happening, and is another reason why I failed, and you saw all those fails, is because I kept healing out of my mystic art range, and then I would end up just kind of like saying, oh dang it, and then just kind of dying. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be using the Mystic Arts if possible, but my main strategy is just the three times and then Sleeping Dragons and then Mystic Art if I'm below half health and it's convenient, then I will. And I think I will end up doing that for Steel. I think Avalon is a lot harder to use the Mystic Art because, oh, and then Ain. I think this is Fight 4, super easy. Avalon's a lot harder because his he only does one attack and it has a like a base damage of like 5,000 which automatically kills and if I guard he does around 3,000 and that's very very hard for me to line up it, I, I can like I wish I could like draw it out for you okay uh, Ross okay super super easy now he, he does have quite a bit of HP 
and his uh, very, very long animation. This is basically a meme for this game. Like, this guy does destruction. He gives his entire life to this blade. Blade of destruction. And then the big meme here is that he literally, he literally does 300 damage, so... Ah, uh, 600, whatever, close enough. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. But yeah, I wish I could like draw it up, but if you just line up the... I have to... Invincibility pill, or I have to get hit, invincibility pill, then guard, and then mystic guard. But you gotta remember, I have to be below half health, and I have around 4,000, and he does 3,000. But I heal 1,000 in one turn, which kind of basically puts me above where I need to be. That three, that three like combo that I need just can't happen because I kept healing out of it. So if I get lucky with Steel and he puts me below 1,000, I can do it, which I'm going to try to do it. But with Avalon, I don't think I'm going to be able to, and for him, I'm just going to have to spam the... Hyper Arts. Okay, there goes uh, Ross. Easy peasy. Who is round seven? Okay, actually, I think Velna and Vestra are always round seven. So from here on out, it's going to be Velna, Vestra. After this is going to be Avalon, and then after that is going to be Steel. This fight is a little bit annoying. If you guys remember the fight that we had to do at uh, the, basically the end of the game at Demiurge Tower, uh, Vestra only gets damaged by magic, meaning I have to use Origins, and this is very annoying just because the animations are super long and I'm very lazy um, but it's more annoying because I have to use all my MP and then I don't have much MP left for the Avalon fight which if I accidentally am able to use a mystic card I won't have um, so I'm gonna see at the end of this I'm gonna get rid of Vestra and then before I kill Velna I might use an MP item just so I can go into the next fight with more MP and then my HP, we'll see where that is. It, it, some some attempts I get out with like 2,000 HP. Some attempts I get out with full HP. So I'm not sure about that. But um, yeah, I know the boring part here. I will have to use that origin power three times. And then obviously I have to wait through all of his animations. And I have to wait through all of my animations. But um, that's just the way the fight has to go. I think I could also kill Vestra with the Mystic, but once again, I need to have health, and they don't do a lot of damage, and they don't do it very quickly, so it's, you know, I'd rather just spam this and win than having to just keep taking damage to get to a Mystic Art, where, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, back to the original point, if you guys are looking for, like, a super, super clean run, um, I would look up a guide on how to do it. This is just... A cheese attempt with invincibility pills and um, obviously the one thing you have to do is you have to have right accessories so even this strategy it's not just like a oh invincibility pill and then you win you know these fat uh, Avalon has seven seven hundred seven hundred and fifty thousand HP and I think steel has above a million so you can't just take invincibility pills and expect to win there's still a lot of strategies, so that comes in the form of accessories where um, I have full AP, which means I have full AP so that uh, at all times, so that helps using the Mystic Arts, and that also helps with spamming these Hyper Arts, because these Hyper Arts also take a lot of AP, which I don't need to you know, account for anymore, and also the full power, which comes from a different accessory, that does the whole three times damage, and you might be saying, why is three times damage like so important? Well, if you really think about it, my base damage is 250,000. So I would need to do that three or four times to kill Avalon. Or I could quite literally just do one full power and I would kill him. So that full power might not seem like a lot if you're doing low amounts of damage, but if you're getting to the end of the game here where you're doing, you know, a couple hundred thousand at a time, it, it doubles the damage to such an extent. So that's that's why that full power is super important. Alright, she's like doing literally no magic damage to me at all. And this like I said, this fight is super super easy. It's just extremely long and boring. It's a cool fight, you know, it's I think it's like a piece of trivia, I think. I don't know if this is right, I'm making it up, but I think Vestra is the only origin that you actually fight that isn't 
like, uh, I think I saw it on the wiki, like, translucent and has, like, its own body, you know? Like, yeah, you fight Avalon's origin, but, um, you know, it's like they're combined. Okay, here I finally, you know, I killed, uh, Vestra. Now I can finally attack Vela. And if you guys don't know, um, you can't, you have to kill Vestra first because if you kill Velna, Vestra will revive Velna. So, big robot needs to go down first, and then Velna. And once again, I can do like 200,000 with just my full power and then uh, Sleeping Dragons. So, super easy fight, round 8. Now, or that's round 7, now comes round 8, which is Avalon. This is and this is that where, if you powers. are watching for enjoyment, I would get a pillow, some blanket, and some snacks. Because this is going to take a while. Like I said, I'll have to do a lot of invincibility pills, guarding see if my invincibility pill is still there, do a hyper, um, and during all this I'll have to juggle my HP. So you can see here, I think I'm going to guard for the first time, just because I'm going to try to use a mystic art here, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, and this is the one move right here, so just remember this move because he's going to be doing it about 20 times this battle. He hits me 3 times, each for about 600, if I had different accessories I could get it down to 300, but um, you know. And then he does the 1,200 in the air, his little uh, Goku move right there. So in total, he does about 3,200, which puts me at above 1,800, which you're like, oh, well, you can use Mystic cards here. I could, but actually not really, because when I defend or attack, I heal. So like you could see here, if I just did a Mystic Art, I wouldn't kill him, maybe. And... Um, that would kind of be it. Instead, what I'm going to be doing here is using an invincibility pill. And then he's going to attack me. And then sadly, I'll be out of range on so no Mr. Card. But I can still use the, uh, the Sleeping Dragon, right? And that'll do um, a good amount, you know, a, uh, enough to kill him in one or two turns. Or many, many turns. But again, it all depends on the timing. Like, in theory, this seems like a super, super easy strategy. Uh, but clearly, from all my deaths, it's not that simple. It, you know, invincibility, I, I don't know, I haven't researched the item, but it seems like it has different amounts of turns that, you know, sometimes it's for four, sometimes it's for five. Um, so you can see, I still have that red glow, and that's kind of how you keep track of that invincibility here. Um, so I'm going to guard one more time here. Because I used the invincibility pill, so now I have to guard. And then, if I have invincibility again next turn, which I'm pretty sure I will, the invincibility pills usually last, you know, a good bit. I'm going to be using a Sleeping Dragon, because once again, I would love to use Mystic Arts, but after he hit me right here, you'll notice if we go back into the battle, uh, Alakazam, I am above half, because I kept auto-healing. So, no Mystic Arts, sadly, but Sleeping Dragon should be should do a good amount here so let's see how much i do to avalon so i'll probably do around 200 000 here which is good he has again i think 750 000. so i basically just need to do this three times and reset and again depending on how long that invincibility pill lasts um you know, it'll all depend. But, in the meanwhile, we have to just kind of sit here through all of uh, these long animations. I, I was trying to figure out a way to maybe speed up my emulator. Um, but I actually couldn't find a way, because I'm kind of dumb. Uh, but that's alright. Um, we'll just keep looking at the animations. That's fine. So, I'm still invincible here, but I don't have the three times power. So, I could just hyper... But that wouldn't really be good because I don't really do much damage. Um, so I'm wondering if I should be using a thing to increase my attack damage by 20%. Where is it? I forgot what, like, oh, point card. I could use a point card, but it only does 99,000. So um, where is my... It raises by 20% 20, 20 the attack power. That's not too much, but at this point, you know, we're in this battle for a long run. I'm, I'm just going to use it and screw it, whatever. I know I could win without it, but I'm just going to use it um, because why not? So my normal is increased by 20%, and now whenever I guard, I'll have the three times. Um, but I'm pretty sure... 
after his animation here, I'm probably gonna lose that invincibility pill. That's another reason why I decided to just do the um, attack bonus right now, because if you really think about it, even if I guard right now, the sound of life I wouldn't be able to attack because my invincibility pill would go on so I'd be, be killed. Let's see if I'm correct here. No, my invincibility pill is still on. Okay, well that's unlucky, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's just do Sleeping Dragon and Mountain Crusher here. Actually, mm, should I? Mm, yeah, let's just do it. Um, I think I'm done when I forgot the guard here. Yeah, ah, oh man, I forgot that three times power. Ugh. I'm sitting here talking about my strategy and I accidentally forget that I didn't guard. I use the 20% power. Okay, well at least we get the 20% bonus, but we don't get that three times, which is going to make this battle just a tiny bit longer. Hey, we still did 85,000. So, so far we did 200,000 plus 80,000. So, right now we're sitting around 300,000 damage. We still need to do around 400,000 more. And if I'm not dumb, I'll... The next two things will be hypers, and we should be able to kill them in the next two if I'm thinking correctly here. Honestly, Steel is like the final boss, but Avalon seems even more of a final boss, just, and even in this, cause just because he's kind of annoying to fight. And I still have my invincibility pill, dude. That is wild. So I could have guarded and done a hyper, but I I, I, I really thought my thing was going to be gone. Okay, well, it's not, so you know what? I could guard again, but if you really think about it, if I guard again, what are the chances that next turn my invincibility pill will still be there? So I think it's safer. I'm just going to go ahead and do another weak attack of only around 100,000. And then, I, I swear, I the invincibility pill has to go away next round. It has to. Um, if it doesn't, I'd be very surprised. Because, yeah, it's been a couple turns now. But since it goes away this round, once again, I'm going to pilt, guard, hyper. And I won't forget the guard this time. Uh, you know, between all these animations, I sometimes forget what I did last. But, yeah, okay. Goku, hit me in the back. Okay, Avalon. Dude, the invincibility pills are so cheese, though, in this game. It's I, I literally, I only found them out um, while researching for how to, you know, actually do this fight correctly. So, I'm going to guard it, so my triple is done. And then, um... And then we go again. We go again. But yeah, when I was doing the research for this, I didn't realize that invincibility pills, like you find like three of them throughout the game. And then I searched up online, oh, well, can you make these? And apparently you can't make them. But that's false because I looked at another forum from like 2005 and um, all you needed, I think I heard, I just explained this before, but you, know, you buy a sword. Yeah, you trade it. And then you combine that with some things you buy from Secret Market. So it's just super, super, super broken. Um, I'm going to use a Mystic Art here. I am below that health. And I think we're just going to kill him right here. So I did finally get a chance to use the Mystic Art here. He did get me below a certain amount. It was a little risky using it here. Because I don't think I had the invincibility pill. But my AP was full, my MP was full, and I was half health. So I think I got away with that pretty nicely. Now, I only have 250 MP, so I have to keep an eye on that. And I'm right below half, almost a little bit above half you HP. Okay, strong. final match. We got Steel. And I'm going to try to use the Mystic Guard again this fight. So it ended up working for Avalon. It ended up working. But I don't know if it's going to work for him too. But, you know, hey, if I can use a Mystic Guard, I will. But that doesn't mean I 100% will. But first, I should probably use an invincibility pill. I, I can't die here, right? So. If he would have stunned me here, the run would have been over. If he would have stunned me right here, the run would have been over. But this is actually the best case scenario because he got me down to 400 means, meaning I can't heal out of my Mystic Guard. So this is literally perfect. I have the pill. I can't die. I'll have it for a couple more turns. I'm going to heal again once he hits me, but I can't go below half. So I will be able to use a Mystic Art here, which is perfect. That means I'm going to do one 750,000 just hit all at once, which will be crazy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Flaming Sword. Okay, so this 
big chunk of his health is going to go away right here, which is perfect. It's exactly what we needed. And if you guys didn't notice, the reason why Steel is such a hard boss in this uh, entire tournament is because he does like 2,000 per hit, a little above 2,000, but his chances, his attacks have like 50% to stun. And if you're stunned, you can't defend. And basically, you stun once, and he does 4,000, and you're dead. So that's why he's so hard. But with Invincibility Pill, it has a property of no status effects. And once again, we're still below half. We still have full AP. We still have an MP because we kept some from last round. We can Mystic Art once again. And there he goes. He is dead. Dead? No, not dead. Okay. One more hit. Um, I Yeah, I knew he was somewhere above a million. I didn't know how far above a million. But two, three times hyper arts did not kill him. But I think one more would. But the problem is, I am not below half. So I can't use it again. And I'm really scared that my invincibility pill is going to run out here. So I'm just going to do something dumb and probably that's something I don't need to do. But I'm just going to use another invincibility pill. Now, I don't know if they stack. I don't know if they stack. I didn't research this at all. I'm kind of... This is my first time trying this. They don't stack. Okay. Well, theory. Okay, there we go. So, if you have an invincibility pill and you use one and it goes away next round, they do not stack. Fair enough. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use another invincibility pill. He can't hurt me. And at the same time, he can't status me. So, I can feel free to either just attack him or... Yeah, I think I'm going to guard first just so I can get that 3 times bonus. And this might be enough to kill him. Once again, I can't use a Mystic because I'm not below half. But right here, I think this might be enough to kill him because I did, I think, 1.4k? Or 1,400,000 1, already. And this should do another 200,000? So... If... I'd be surprised if he was above... I don't know if he has like 1.4k or 1.5 or 1.7 or 1.6 But if he's 1.45 or 6 this should kill him There we go. Yeah, he was probably 1.5 or 1.6 million Guys we won that is the dream match. That was the hardest fight in the game Completed this is the hardest thing in the game to do. I put it off for a year because I didn't know if I could do it but, you know, I just need to spend a little bit of a time on my accessories, and that is done. What a battle in this entire arena. Do you still wish to go forth and conquer others? So why not, dude? Okay, there's a certain item, which, here, you have earned this. It's a rare priceless treasure. A heaven secret, just like we thought. All right. Okay, everybody. So that was the last fight in the game. The hardest thing we have have to do, and there's nothing harder. Um, anything that's left in this game is just very, very small cutscenes and stuff like that. So, this is crazy. I, honestly, I didn't know if I was able to do this fight. I thought it was, like, super, super hard. And it was hard, but definitely those invincibility pills are super cheese. Um, and my controller got, okay, whatever. I don't even need my controller. It got unplugged. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as opposed to the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legaya 2. In the past two episodes, we defeated the Centurion Challenge and the Dream Match against Steel. Now you might be wondering, what else is there in the game? Why is there another episode? Well, I wanted to do one more episode because this game has like an extreme amount of like small cutscenes and little things you could do. And I thought, you know, this game's not complete if I don't do that. So what I'm going to be doing is... Just traveling around the world, I'm going to try to go to every city, I'm just kind of trying to get in every nook and cranny, and I'm going to try to get as many cutscenes and as many, like, texts and talking to everyone, just so I can feel like I finished the game correctly. This is, like, basically a bonus episode of Legea, just because I really wanted to, like, kind of 100% the game, even though, you know, I'm not 100%ing it. Um, yeah, this is just a bonus. There's going to be no fights, no stories, I don't think anything like that. It's just going to be talking, you know. It's a chill episode. Okay, so I'm gonna start where the game started at the small town of Knoll. Let's see if I can find anything. Okay, so this guy has a mini game here. I don't know if I've actually done this mini game. Hey, just practice side jumping here. Wanna try? Yeah, I, I wanna try. I don't know if I've done this in the game yet. Just start a game.
Okay, there we go. We won. Huh, that's not right. I shouldn't have lost. Maybe I need to lose some weight. You go, Aqua. You're now definitely a side jump warrior. Okay. Boost oil. Let's do it again. It'll be a great calorie. Okay. Uh, should I hop? It looks so soft. Maybe if I should I hop on the cow. All right. This is the best feeling ever. Okay, that is literally the most random thing in the video game. I don't know why that exists, but um. I'm glad it does, I guess. Sharon? Cutscene. Hmm. So this is Aqua's room. It's so drab. Now let's see. Suspicious areas. How about under the bed and then the drawers? I'll start from the bed. I <laughs> wonder what I'm going to find. Hmm. What? Aqua, how long have you been there? What are you looking for? Uh... What could I possibly hide in here anyways? Well, what do you think, Aqua? You're a teenage boy. I know what you boys do. Huh? What are you talk what are you ranting about? If you don't have a reason to be here, just get out. Bro, she trying to find Uh lighten up big deal. I looked under your bed. Bro, Sharon's dirty dog. Don't do that. I'm not hiding anything on my bed. Uh Maya? So many plates. Oh yeah, well, where she comes from, she doesn't have plates. Oh, another cutscene. Okay, that's it for the side dishes. Now on to the rice balls. Aqua, when did you get here? You know, I'm really busy right now. I have to make everyone's lunch every single day. Mmm. I'm gonna help her. However, here, let me help. You could use some help, right? Really? Oh, okay, great. Today's lunch is rice balls. So it's really easy. Do I have to make easy uh and don't overstuff it either? One, two, okay. Thanks, Aqua. You're a big help. It's not like you to give me a genuine thank you. What? What's that supposed to mean? At least now you can make yourself a stupid rice ball. And here, you might as well bring your own lunch. Okay, so we I think we learned something there and got a recipe. Cool. Ooh, okay. So, the places I need to go, specifically, Mount Gable, uh, Darakin, uh, Cravia for sure, Tanza... Derek's haunt and then probably this north town here, right? Uh, the you know forgotten village. I think those are the important ones. Oh, Jenga And then I should probably spend some time at fortune too Okay, but I guess I will start by going to Mount Gable. Uh, I wonder if I should have some I should have some repels on me uh, Just because I know I have to climb up the mountain here Okay, I think I can pick up this chest out of here Can I open it now? Oh, headset. What the heck is a headset, dude? Oh, it's just a defense. Okay. Well, there was a chest right here, so I got it while I was here. So I forgot that I can use big guy. There's a big guy over here to uh, pick it up. Okay, I think I'm going to head to Darkin Citadel next. I think this is a nice big town. A lot of exploring to do. Okay, cutscene with stone here at the weapon shop. 5,000? What? I told you, this sword is new. It's worth 15,000. Easy. 15,000 for a piece of junk. Your customers aren't that stupid. 5,000. Final offer. You're out of line, sir. That's less than half the price. There isn't a man alive who'd pay 15,000 for this. 5,000. That's it. Sir, this is really... Okay, how about 10,000? Nope. 5,000. There's no way I'm paying more. Fine, 8,000. That's lower than a liquidation sale. 5,000. Grr, <laughs> 7,000. I'm sorry, sir, but that's the best I can do. You just don't get it. I told you I'm not paying more than 5,000. You're an unbelievably stubborn customer. Fine, 5,000 it is. Stone bought the Venom Blade at a reduced price. He's a haggler. Huh. Oh, you saw me? What did you think of my bargaining? Amazing, huh? Yeah, I'm impressed. Master, you have some serious negotiating skills. I'll try it next time. <laughs> You're still young, Aqua. You need time to get to get good at this. Okay. Fun little cutscene. Mans is crying, dude. I don't think I need any of this. Oh, okay, so I walked in here. I think some part earlier in the game I got like a letter or something. And this is the mother and this, the daughter. Kafil. You gave the soil letter. Okay, so we found a soil letter at some point in this game. 
Mom, Karen, your father, your father is alive, he's alive. Mom, where's dad? It says I've transferred to Cravia, south of Darakin for guard duty. It also says don't worry, I'm doing well. I'll definitely come. Thank you, I don't know what to say in... Okay. Thank you, I don't know what to say in Cravia. Okay. So, that soiled letter that I got at some point in the game, I'm supposed to go to this lady. There's a toy duck. A toy duck is floating here. Fascinating. Cutscene. I just walked in this building. Uh, welcome to Chez Snow, the finest restaurant in the kingdom. Enjoy the finest flavors in the kingdom here. Shall I show you to a table? Why not? Okay, yes, please do certainly this way. Let's see, let's see what we can get. Here's our menu. Please select from our fine full course meals. Uh, let's get the premium deluxe full course meal. It's 50,000 G, but you know what? We got it. Wow, so this is the premium deluxe. Munch munch. Could he be higher on the social ladder than our we are? Dang, I just can't stand it. Yes, sir. Well, I wonder what family he's from. I'd just love to meet him. Psych! I'm a, I'm, I'm too good for you. Could he be royalty, I wonder? Maybe I'd better make his acquaintance. This is incredible. It's so delicious. I'm trembling from head to toe. Okay, I learned how to make heavenly beef. Yo, I think... Um, that's a really good food thingy. Um, I think I could have used that heavenly beef in the earlier fights, I think. Obviously, I don't need... Oh, I acquired cooking today. Very nice. I think I could have used that because I think it gives, like, very good stats. Or I could just be tripping. No idea. Oh, thing came on. But, um, that's cool. Something I should probably have in this game. Okay, I think I'm gonna try every single dish because I think it could give you different stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this second dish. So this is the deluxe, huh? I wonder if he's a member of the lesser nobility. I don't believe he's from this town. Oh, so now I'm from lesser nobility because I only paid five. Is he just showing off or is he really of our own level, I wonder? So that's what that guy is here. Well, wow, that's quite an expensive order he gave. This is sure is an elegant dining, and each bite fills my mouth. Fantastic flavor. And I learned another recipe. Okay. Well, let's go in and out one more time, because I think there's one more dish we need to try here. Yep, accept. Just give me the food. Okay, the budget full course meal here. Okay. Okay, so this is great. So is this how the other half lives, huh? Oh, but this is still budget, though. This flavor is so rich. Snicker, very befitting. Hey, dude. Snort, he ordered the budget full course meal. I just hope he doesn't embarrass us with his crude table manners. Bro, I will straight up pull out my origin right now. Pull out the blicky, dude. He just ordered the budget full course meal. A member of nobility would never stoop to ordering that. Alright, bro, you're literally lower class, so shut up. This is very good. I've never knew this food could be this good. Okay, so I'll learn balsamic vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time, and I'm not gonna order anything just to see um, what happens here. Okay, so let's see. What happens if I order nothing? Okay, nobody makes fun of me. Perfect. Alright. Um. Okay, a cutscene. I'm in the, uh, like, these clothes are, these all look really expensive. I wish I could wear something like this once in a while. Maya, what do you think of something like this for you? What, what do you say? Bruh, she's going to the, she's, oh, everything is black. Oh my, what an awful color. I'd die of shame if anybody saw me in that. Oh, can it be that bad? Um, I don't know if it's exactly right for me. Oh, how about this? This would look good on you, Sharon. Let me see. This is what girls think when they shop, apparently. 
Yuck, that's so plain and boring. That does nothing for me. Well, she's barely wearing anything anyway, so... Hee <laughs> hee, not bad. Hey, Aqua, did you come to see the clothes too? Hmm, something for Aqua. Let's see. How about this? This would look good. No, no, no. That one would look... This one would look best on Aqua. No question about it. This one's too gaudy for Aqua. He'd look awful in it. What do you know? That boring thing you've got wouldn't bring out Aqua's charm. Apparently I'm charming. That's not true. This one is the best one, I tell you. No way. I'm telling you. This one is perfect. Whoa, hold up. Hey, you too. Which, hey, which one do you like? Uh, I don't know. I, Cause I can't see them. I'm gonna choose mine. Hmm, I like the one Maya picked out. How could you? You gotta be kidding. Mine is the best by far. Men, men with no taste. Okay, that's ironic. Uh, fighting you is more challenging than any quest. If you ever meet at the arena, I'll give it another go. Oh, the first time he said that, I couldn't beat him. Which was ironic, because I literally beat him. Uh, let me have the dream burger. Uh, I'll take the meal, yeah. Okay, oh, so when I eat stuff, I can learn how to make it. Okay, well, let's just get one of everything. Okay, I learned how to make that. One of the things that I'm going to do at the end of this episode is cook all of these things. Oop, no, 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 no. Is cook all of these things and uh, see all the interactions, because you do get interactions when you cook things. Let's get the nuggets. Um. Let's do it. Cutscene. Wow. That steel is amazing. That makes four this year. Oh, oh these wanted posters. They show creatures you can get rewards for catching. You know, wanted monsters. He <laughs> he just looking at them gets me all excited. It gets me scared to go even go outside. Did you know what? There's a hero that will mow down these vicious monsters. His name is Silver Wolf Steel. See, he's over there, which I already beat him in the dream match, but... He's too cool. I want to be Steel's manager someday. That's my goal. I'll be famous. Dog, I already beat him. Cutscene. Psst, get a load of this. I can't tell you where I got it, but I've got something really special here. A really great sword. The sword is called Doomringer. They say it's from another world. How about it? I'll give you the chance to buy it. Just 50,000 G. I'm good, dog. I don't know. It seems pretty shady. I think I'll pass. Are you sure you want to pass by the chance like this? One of a kind. Once it's sold, you'll never get a chance like this again. You know what? Let's just buy it. Honestly, I don't I don't care if it's a scam. Here. He sold all yours. Oh, bro. He's dipping. My guy. Question mark. So this is the Doom Ringer. It broke. The Doom Ringer's not broken. Grr, dang it. Okay, that dude just straight up just skamazed me out of fifty thousand. Cutscene. I'm in the bar area. Doesn't being in a tavern make you feel all grown up, Aqua? Uh, yeah. Why not? I guess so. Yeah, maybe all different kinds of people sitting around drinking and talking about grown up things. Yeah, that's just what I mean. Why don't you have a drink with me, Aqua? Huh, hey, what, what are you drinking? 100% pure orange juice. It's really good. Dude, she's got the good stuff. Let's buy all of these. Maybe I can learn how to cook something. Yeah, I learned how to cook that. Oh, cutscene with Ain. Aqua, I've got a favor to ask you. What is it, Ain? I need some money. What's up, all of a sudden? In Jingo, we don't need money. I just wanted to see what it was like to actually use it. Okay, here's 10,000. I don't really know how much that is, but thank you. He's gonna do something dumb with it, isn't he? Okay, well, now I, I think... I think I have to go find him. Because he's probably gonna spend it on something stupid. Hey, Akko, wait a minute. Oh, he's back. Hey, did you have fun shopping? I want... To give this back to you give me back didn't you go shopping yes i looked at the stuff and took out the money they said i didn't have to pay <laughs> they looked at me and they got really scared am i that scary uh no you're not you're you're 
not at all scary, no. Uh, no, not really. You're not that scary, Ain. Okay, that's good then. So, this man's just straight up got free stuff. That's actually kind of funny. Okay, that is the town of Cravia. I guess next we go to Port Town Tanza. Probably, uh, I think one of you guys left a comment on one of the earlier videos, but probably one of the nicest towns in the game. It's nice and relaxing, nice and calm. Let's see. No, let's not stay at the hot spring right now. Let me check out the rest of this place. Um, to relax their bodies. You can warm yourself in the hot spring. Oh. What if, okay. Yeah, give me, give me, give me a bunch of those. Ooh, Stone is in here with somebody. Cutscene. Some hard stuff right there. Oh. I didn't expect you to keep up with your skills. I should say the same about you. Why are you staring at me? You're missing an eye, dude. This is Aqua. He is my student. Zach, I thought you were through with teaching. Have you forgotten about Ross? I have not, but there is something special about this one. I believe he may be, he may be able to actually do what Ross only dreams of. Mastering the Tenga Ryu techniques. If he makes you feel that way, he must be quite extraordinary. Sure I am, dude. But compared to myself at the same age, he's but a fledgling. Boy, my name is Gain. Mizak and I survived many a battle together. I used my fists. Mizak used a sword. Who is Mizak? What? You don't even know the name of your own master? Relax, Gain. I left that name behind. Now I am called Stone. And I have laid down my sword. I fight with my fists now, as you do. I see, but I presume you haven't lost your strength yet, so... You use your fists now, then let me give you some pointers. I think you can handle it now. Guy, even if you left your name and passed behind, our bond will never change here. Learn my style. Thanks, Guy. You have my deepest gratitude. Ooh, he learned Way of Quake. That's cool. Okay. Well, I'm glad I came up here because there actually was a cutscene. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy a meat bun. Here you go. Thanks for waiting. I bought a meat bun. That was an expensive meat bun. Do you guys have anything to t say? No. Uh, muscle. Challenge him. Yeah, dude. Let me challenge you. Is this a mini game? Oh, it's another side side jumping. Okay. I think I'm gonna beat him. I think I'm gonna beat him. If I just keep this up. I'm gonna beat him. I just gotta keep it up. Just gotta keep hitting the sticks. And bingo. Get wrecked, nerd. Ooh, how you smash me. From now, you're super muscle side jump hero, and I am just side jumper. Oh, I got a rainbow capsule. Cool. Uh, I'm a sailor. Why do I have to do this? Want to challenge me to a planting contest? You know what? Want me to explain how to plant? Uh, sure. I did it! Oh, I won! Whew! I did it! You planned a 13th... I can't believe I lost to an amateur. Guess it's time for me to retire. This is for you, just like I promised. Heal bottle! Whew! Okay. There we go. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm, uh... It's done. Ooh, Sharon's over here. Cutscene. Great timing, Aqua. I've got something nice for you. Something nice. A cool-looking accessory. I thought it would suit you. Go on, try it on. Okay, how do I look? I knew it. A perfect match. By the way, the previous owner was some guy lying in the dirt. I was thinking to sell it, but then I thought it looked perfect for you. Take it with gratitude. Really? Are you sure Sharon? It looks pretty valuable. Yeah, you really think so. Hey, Akko, can I have it back? I'll give you something else. Okay, please. Ah, uh, Sharon. Okay. Okay. I guess now we move on to Derek's Haunt. Let's go. So, I know in here there's the dartboard game inside... Man, I don't know about that one. That's really hard. 
Hey, you're a whale of a man, ain't ya? Whale, what is that? You're joking, right? I'm talking about you. You're huge. You know how to fight, right? I am a warrior. I knew it. Say, how'd you like to join the crew? Do a little pirating. You can stand to lose one, can't you, Aqua? Uh, ask Ain, dude. Not my problem. That's up to Ain. You'll have to ask him. I have a destiny I must fulfill. I'm sorry, but I cannot become a pirate. I see. You would have made a fine hand, matey. Ooh, I can talk to the parrot, apparently. The briny sea is my world. Oh, how I love the sea. Edward the Eighth treasure in the continent naval. Edward the Eighth treasure in the continent naval. Edward the Eighth. I wonder, could he mean my father? He just said the continent's naval, right? Hmm, I think that's what he said. It could only mean one place, Gardener Island. That must be where the treasure's buried. <gasps> I gain access to a whole island? What? Uh, is gonna. Okay. So, apparently, there's a whole new location that I can go to now. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Content, dude. Uh, I think there's something going down down here, though. So it's another cutscene. I see. I should put the curry in, in right after the rest of the ingredients are fried. Just take any leftover ingredients or whatever you've got laying around. Spice it up with some curry and voila, voila, you're done. Make sure you don't let the curry get too runny. You don't want to drown the pasta with it. Just give it some extra flavor. What are you doing, Maya? I'm learning how to make curry spaghetti. It's really easy to make. Don't tell the rest of the crew, but I make this whenever I don't feel like feel much like cooking. Okay, so now we have curry spaghetti. Fun, fun, fun. This is a dartboard game. I think I'll give it a few tries. Um, but okay. Oh, guy, I almost completely forgot because I did that game. Gordoner Island, a completely new island. Literally no idea what this is. Let's check it out. Like, I literally, I don't even know what this is. I didn't realize this place existed. Oh, I just ran away from the island. Chest. Doombringer. Oh, that's an actual... Let's go see what's inside the cave, though. Is this where the real treasure is? Water. Okay. Looks like there's two paths. I'll go this way first. Sage's Handbook. Merchant Soul inside here. What we got? What we got? Treasure. Oh, that's a lot of treasure. Ultimate Miracle. That's a good item. Okay. Invincibility Pill. Okay. Statue of Art. Okay. Okay, so one of the things we found was actually... Or two of the things was artwork, a painting, and a statue. Okay, so that's cool. Ooh, is there something in this over here? Heaven's secret. In this little, little empty... I, dude, I almost didn't spot it, dude. Heaven's secret. Insane. Okay, wait. Now i got to check every dip in here. Is there something in here? Okay, guys, so only a few places left, basically. Jinga, Fortune, and... You know, let's uh, let's check out you know, then Jenga, and then we'll end off that fortune. Okay, I acquired uh, another recipe, so that's cool. He taught me how to make noodles. Okay, a little cutscene. Burr, Aqua, this is t t too cold. I'm going to f freeze out here. You okay? I'm freezing. No, I'm not okay. I'm not wearing any more than you. <laughs> is is that so? I feel better. Ah, a chew. So cold. Yeah, they both don't dress very modestly, do they? Okay, everybody. Last place in the entire game here. Once I double check every single room in here, we are officially completely done with the game. As far as I'm concerned, obviously, there's... You know, I could get the 50,000 in the knife game, I could get every heaven secret, I could um, get every single chest, but you know, I'm not I'm not looking to go that far in this game. Oh, we got a thing with stone. I'm not joking, nobody can withstand this fist. Come and see my fight, eh? Uh, but old men really aren't old. Old? Look at this hot body. Look, look, I'm youthful. Is it, tr it is true that I'm old, but if you see me fight once, you'll forget how old I am. But, oh, Aqua the Conqueror? 
This person won't leave me alone. Help me. Uh, let's help Stone out. Dude, he's our buddy. Let's go. If she's not completely sure, that's when you have to push a bit. Ah, yes. When she takes a step back, I take one forward. Here I go. So, what do you think? If I win, we could spend a romantic evening together. <laughs> what are you thinking, you pervert? Uh, that sucks. Master, that wasn't part of the plan. Okay, Stone received the nickname Playboy. Fun. Ooh, we got a thingy. Err, it's, it's gotta be broken. Give me back my coin. Give it back. Oh, perfect timing, Aqua. I hate to do this, but do you have a coin? Ah, yeah, why not? You're in luck. How much? Well, let's see. How about, uh, I don't know, 10,000 or so? 10,000? Eh, lend the coins. Uh, uh, I don't have that much. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Oh, I'm kidding. I can't believe you took me seriously. Which aristocrat should I hit up? Dude, she's a gold digger. Let's see, Maya. Hmm, Maya, what is she doing? I, I can see into your heart. Yes, it is growing clearer. Hmm. Ahem. I have seen it. The person you have in mind does not seem to pay much attention to you. If you want to make things work, you must take initiative, be active, and lead. This is the only way, so I have to be more aggressive. What's up, girl? Be aggressive. Okay, how do I make a move? She trying to make some moves. Oh, no, no, I'm not trying to play roulette right now. I don't know if I have this yet, but I'm going to buy it now. Because it'll teach me how to make more food. Okay, the real gourmet. Sirloin steak, udon, beef, uh, sunny melody. Okay, so we just learned a whole crap ton of recipes. Lit. Ooh, we got Ain here. This is like a circus. Even blood bass are considered amusement in this place. I eh, guess they sure are. Yes, give me one of those. Okay, can I get this? Okay, and give me that last one too. There we go. Thank you. All right, everybody. So we've officially visited all the places that I want to visit. I think we went through most of the cutscenes that you know are like readily available to us. There's only one last thing we have to do, and that is go to the camp, and um, I guess just chat a little bit. I'm gonna see if there's any interesting dialogue that comes up. Everyone's asleep, huh? Yeah, we should get some sleep too. There, uh, Dupont told me that you were Thunder God Nazak. Are you gonna say anything? I'm an adult, you know. After all this time, I'm not gonna blame you for abandoning my father or anything. But why? Why did you leave him? You can at least tell me that, can't you? Wow, I didn't know that's when Nazak was working with Sharon's dad. Yeah, in those days, I was the sole commander of the fleet. Alphys and I and all the men spent our days doing battle. Those were the days, I tell you. But one day, my most trusted man, my star pupil, turned traitor and I really believed he was going to be my successor. I should have been angry, but all I felt was an unbearable regret. I killed him with my own two hands. He told me he betrayed me because he wanted the chance to fight me. Fighting lost all meaning for me then. I realized it was all my fault. I faced up to the responsibility and decided to leave the ship. That's the whole story. My father called your name right up to the moment he died. He really believed in you, you know. I'm sorry. Well, I guess it doesn't mean doesn't matter now well, who was that star people anyway was it him yeah it was Ross I didn't think I'd, I'd see him again till the next world I'll call it. it's okay have a drink you mean you forgive me everybody has a sorrow or hardship or two in life that's why the way it is gotta admit I used to hate you but that was a long time ago now we're friends right am I being too dramatic come on don't be gloomy why are you crying for come on don't blobber on me I'm not, I'm not crying. Here, you have a drink too. Okay, whatever you say. That's cute. Aqua, how long are we going to stay here, huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we should stay for tall. Come on, what's wrong with it? It's only for a little while. Great food, plenty of money. You're corrupt. Excuse me, what's the matter with having a little fun? Oh, come on, Sean call Yeah, maybe we're having too much fun. Let's get going. Okay, so there's a lot of different dialogue for a lot of camping. There's probably different dialogue for relocation. Um, but for now, let's just cook some of this food and see what kind of dialogue we get. What's inside? Plum? Mmm, I'd like a cup of green tea. Just a rice ball? That's sad. It's not enough. Okay, let's make... 
Cocoa cake. I think the baking went okay. How is it? Tastes good, Maya. This is a kid's meal. No way, it tastes too bitter. I want more. Okay. Maya acquired something. Let's see. There's still so many recipes, man. Balsamic veggies. It's just hard to make, isn't it? Aqua, you're amazing. Don't get all stuck up. Food's food once you eat. You look like a pro aqua. It's just using less oil. Let's also, let's maybe go to the bottom so we can get like the rarer stuff here. Sick shrimp soup. Creepy mushroom. Ah, my stomach hurts. It's pure poison, I swear. Oh, I feel icky. I hate this. But it's, okay. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. What was increased? Oh, decreased, decreased. Oh, so that was all bad. That is not good food. Rotten steak. Um, okay, Sunny Melody might be good. This is a dish from drink I've ever had. I've never seen it either. It looks like miso soup, but the flavor is so mysterious. I don't know if you can make it. Uh, it tastes like home or something. Okay. What about, uh, let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. My dad used to make this all the time, but now I'm trying it myself. It's like the sea is on my plate. There's so many kinds of fish. This is good. Okay. Let's try beef stroganoff. This is thick and rich. Yeah. I'm trying to find like interesting dialogue. Huh. Let's see. Curry spaghetti? Not really confident about how is it. Curry flavored pasta. That's good, Maya. Uh, yeah, the spice is just right. Tastes great. Oh, let's try the heavenly beef. Yes, perfect. Amazing. It smells in my mouth. Sastry, I know you like it. I hate meat. Uh, oh yeah, Stone's a vegetarian or something. Yeah, whenever you eat chocolate or cake or something like that, you get the smile on your face. I smile. Yes, you do. You look pretty nice when you're eating sweets. You mean you can't tell me when you're smiling? Okay, so Ain got sweet tooth. Let's just keep chatting here. Sharon. Uh, that's what my henchmen tell me too. If you can appreciate dishes like that, you must be from Tanza too. Yeah, you can tell, huh? I was born and raised in Tanza. Oh, Sharon was raised in Tanza. Okay. So was I. What a coincidence. Hand me that bottle. I'll pour you a drink. You will. Thanks. Why don't you have a drink too here? And those two like drinking, apparently. So now we have the, all the stones. So it's Demir's Tower, huh? That's where the Source Forge is. Yeah, and we could probably count on that guy with the Supreme Origin Avalon being there too. So it's the final battle, huh? Don't get nervous now. It'll be all over after this last dance. We've got to jump in with both feet. You're absolutely right. With the final battle, we've got to be ready. Anything else? Nah, it looks it looks like that was the last chat. Okay, and with that, let's go ahead and rest. I'm gonna save, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode, and it's gonna be it for this entire game. I know this game was very very weird that I took a literal year break and came back just to kind of finish it up. Um, but now I officially feel good that this game is fully completed. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.